This is Bone Through Nose, Gord on Slow, and an axe at the back door. It's Kummel Rugby League on Triple M. Welcome to Four Nations Rugby League. Welcome to Australian Kangaroos v PNG Gummels. Welcome to Parramatta Stadium, the spiritual home of International Rugby League on this magnificent afternoon for the greatest game of all. Welcome to Throw Him Way Leg. Head. Welcome to the match that will be played for the highest principles of international sport. In other words, this fixture, my very good friends, will demonstrate that peace, that is real and lasting peace, comes through incredible violence. This is the message of Four Nations Rugby League. This is the message that isn't getting through to our opponents in Afghanistan. At the top of this Four Nation clash, there is one simple instruction for maximum enjoyment of the next 80 minutes of incredible international mayhem. Turn down the sound on the television down your end of the swamp and turn up Triple M. And now, as we head towards kickoff in just over 30 minutes' time, can you please welcome my colleague on the sideline this afternoon, a man who has dedicated his life to the cause of Kumal football and has made PNG Rugby League. A lifelong obsession. That man, of course, is rampaging Roy Slavin. Roy, welcome to Parramatta Stadium. It's a hell of a day for International Rugby League. How excited are you, buddy? Yes, sir. Thanks very much, Ed. You know, it's a dream come true, isn't it? Uh, I mean, it was a dream come true to have the Kumuls here in 2008. Who can forget it? I can't. And to have them here again in 2010, well, it's an absolutely astounding achievement. Uh, and can I just thank all of those, HG, all of those within the uh, NRL, the ARL, uh, Country Rugby League, and, of course, Queensland Rugby League, which would not be forgotten on a day like today, for all pitching in and uh, getting this Four Nations happening. A lot of people said, you know, Four Nations when it comes to October 2010, you know, with cricket coming, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, people are going to be over Rugby League. I never believed that for a moment. I think the time is always right for Rugby League. And when you have international Rugby League at the very highest level coming at you in October, I think it's perfect. And, and the weather gods have smiled upon us. Hey, she, sure, a lot of people said, oh, it's going to be 25, 26 degrees Celsius, and you can't play rugby league in that sort of temperature. You can. As it is, we've got quite a coolish day, which will, I think, suit the style of uh, those... Uh, Happy New Guineans that come from the Highlands. And Roy, uh, look, I came separately today. When I pulled up in the ute, you were already here and I almost pranged into a uh, telegraph pole. I had no idea you'd dress for the occasion with a Highland underpant, you know, just tucking the member into a gourd, wandering around au naturel with a wig on top. Are you causing chat as you wander through this vast crowd? A lot of people have stopped me uh, actually and said, you know, what's the story? Uh, Gourds, where do I get them? Uh, is it a one-size-fit-all policy? Uh, can you get different styles of gourd? Uh, the answer is yes. Uh, you've got to find a gourd that suits you and one that you feel comfortable in and, uh, and, and one that allows the natural expansions and contractions that, uh, that, the, that the gland uh, endures during a game of rugby league. And you, know, you get excited, you get deflated, it goes up, it goes down. You know what I mean? You've just uh, got a gourd, you, you want to have a gourd that will suit all aspects of the game. Now, you've been here for a little while at least. Uh, league luminaries, international stars and politicians since you've arrived here at Parramatta Stadium. Who have you seen? Oh, look, I haven't seen any politicians, as much as the uh, I cannot believe it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've seen a couple of uh, Papua New Guinean uh, politicians. Actually. The Happy I've, Knights. I've seen the Happy Knights. I've seen Sir Julius Chan. Uh, yeah, Sir Julius Chan passes his regards on to all Triple M listeners. Uh, Sir Michael Samari, of course, uh, who this time managed to uh, get through customs without having to remove his shoes. Uh, he sends his regards, HG. And there are a couple of other knights, uh, New Guinean knights, whom I hadn't met before, mm-hmm. but who are happy to be here. Uh, this is the first time out of their country. It's the first time they've been to Australia, and they are absolutely blown away with the facilities here, uh, especially uh, the, 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 the facilities here at Parramatta. They love the room they're in at the hotel. Uh, they love the fact that you've got room service. Uh, they love the, they, they find the beds, once you remove the mattresses and just get down to the wire, they find them absolutely perfect to sleep on. So everything's tickety-boo when it comes to our nights. Now, Australians, have I seen, uh, I know you're going to ask me, have I seen the Australian Sports Minister, Mark Arbib? No, I have not. Mm-hmm. Uh, which begs the question, who is go- if anyone is within earshot of Arbib, just say to him, Hi, Arbib! Why aren't you at the rugby league? It's the King of Kokoda and Port Moresby's Mr. Rugby League. Lie! Roy and HG. 
here on Triple M. Live from the Parramatta Stadium, and uh, we're here with Roy. Throw him way ahead. The coverage of the Kummels be the Kangaroos here as part of the Four Nations. Roy, it's been a festival of football right from about half past six this morning. I know you arrived. You did a clinic on gourds, how to string them on, how to make them look good, size, selection, all that sort of stuff. We're very well attended. But there's been performances by uh, various groups. And who have we just heard? Uh, out front here uh, at the Parramatta Stadium. Look, it's been fantastic, actually. We've had Digidance uh, just conclude their uh, remarkable performance here at Parramatta Stadium this afternoon. Uh, they're a song and dance group, actually. They travel the world taking their knowledge of their, their ancestors' songs uh, and their dances to global stages. And really, it reaches back, some say, 10, perhaps possibly 12,000 years that these songs that are essentially about rugby league... Uh, and great wins and great New, losses. New Guinean rugby league, actually, mm-hmm. you know, which, which comes out of a slightly different, uh, trend, uh, a different uh, tradition from the European rugby league, which we have, which came through Haspartum. Uh, the, the New Guinean rugby league tend to come from, come from more tribal... Roots. Uh, tri- well, tribal roots and, and uh, tribal antagonisms, HG. Mm-hmm. You, you know, you, you, you'd get the hump with uh, you know, a certain bunch that'd be living in a part of the, uh, part of the island that you felt you, uh, you, you had dibs on. Mm-hmm. And so you would challenge them, uh, usually with uh, very you know, blunt objects, large blunt objects, and stones. And uh, you would uh, run into their village and smash as many people as you could and then hasten back to your own village and make preparations for... The return bout yes. when they would come at you with uh, with uh, blunt instruments and uh, and large stones, uh, and that's essentially how the game began. And we'll see that variation in uh, in uh, in roots in tradition uh, when the two two teams play off this afternoon. Roy, you've been uh, you know obviously attracted to PNG Rugby League for you know many many years now, and it has a great uh, connection with Australia. Of course, yep. you know Sean Dorney led aside. I think the Beat Australia, uh, the right. uh, well-known uh, journalist for the ABC, yep. was on the wing of a very fine outfit that Beat Australia once. And of course, Graham and Nui paddled the outrigger down uh, from uh, PNG to referee a state of origin match. Did a very That's credible right. job. He did. Uh, I'm just wondering, how, what got you interested originally? Was it the roots of the game? Was it the culture that's associated with the game, the take no prisoners, the away fixture, the informality of it all, really? Mm. Just turning up for a you know, punch up and then retreating uh, yeah. you know, for the uh, home game, so to speak. Yeah, indeed. It, look, it was largely an accident, HG. I was, I was uh, touring uh, PNG uh, many, many, many years ago, and I, I was just interested uh, in looking at the uh, at the highest glacier in the world, uh, which is in the New Guinean Highlands. And a lot of people say, oh, "Well, it's so close to the well, it's on the equator. How can you have a glacier? Well, you have a glacier because it's so bloody high." Mm-hmm. So, uh, and this glacier is receding, actually, naturally enough, uh, with uh, as as global warming, uh, you know, comes to bear upon uh, various areas uh, of the planet. Uh, I was just casually walking up, actually, and I heard a lot of shouting and screaming happening from. Uh, uh, you know, a section of the uh, of the uh, timberland that had been cleared away, and uh, I saw these tremendously fit players uh, running around uh, with axes, etc. And they looked of very violent intent. And uh, I, I then made some gentle inquiries in my one talk, uh, and they said to me in their halting English that they were playing essentially rugby league, what I took to be rugby league. And I said, you blokes should, uh, you know, should take this to Moresby and see if you can take this to the world. Because it was a, it was a breathtaking, uh, refreshing way of playing the game, HG. You know, while death was almost always, you know... Lurking. Close, close. You know, it was very close. I nearly saw players killed. Uh, but in the context of watching death so close to us, the idea was to keep the ball alive. So you had life and death sitting side by side, and I thought, well, this is refreshing. Mm-hmm. Let's take this to the world. Now, did you bring any of this back to the Shamrocks when you played with the Shamrocks, this intense, you know, heightened reality of the game? I mean, I know yeah. that there was those idiot brothers who you killed in succeeding games. Was yeah. that uh, homage? Yeah. yeah. Was that homage to Papua New Guinea rugby no, that league? No, that, that was an absolute accident, actually. That, was, that had nothing to do with reggae rugby league. In fact, we, we didn't know what to call it in those days. We didn't know. We were just, you know, we sort of like just keeping the ball alive, just see, mm-hmm. keeping movement. Keeping bodies in motion. That's what Reggae Rugby League is all about. Keeping bodies in motion. Yeah. And, and what, it stems from the, uh, the, the uh, you know, a lot of uh, Germans went into Papua New Guinea they in the did. early days. They were missionaries, actually, German missionaries, Lutheran church people by and large. And they introduced what was called the Hausmann system. And that is basically everyone takes credit 
for the performance of one person. Uh, equally, everyone is punished if someone does something stupid. <laughs> now, we've seen this uh, Houseman system applied here, I think, a couple of the boys uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, here in this current Kumo lineup uh, went out and missed the curfew. Uh, well, the whole team, team was, was therefore kept in. punished. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, this oh. Houseman system. And we adopted the Houseman system uh, back at the Shamrocks, of course. You know, there was one time when, uh, when Stomper Staines missed curfew. Well, let's face it, he was legless at the pub. And uh, all of us had our cars torched as a result of that. This is Four Nations. This is a test match. This is Kummels versus Kangaroos. Live! On Triple M. Roy, there was a pipe opener earlier. Mm. Uh, Island Nations, of course. Yes, it was Samoa versus uh, Tonga HG. Uh, God almighty, this generated a hell of a lot of interest, didn't it? It did. Uh, a lot of people... Uh, and i tell you what, the Samoan community is just... Uh, they love their rugby league. They have turned out in droves for today. I, I don't know. I assume they'll be uh, supporting the Kummels, but I'm a little bit uncertain about that. Uh, you know, these are arcane areas of, uh, of, uh, of uh, Pacific politics uh, I find a little bit difficult to follow at times. But anyway, uh, Tonga... Uh, held Samoa six all at half time, which surprised everyone. Uh -huh. But then, of course, Samoa uh, played a little bit of razzle dazzle rugby league and uh, echoes of the uh, the rugby league we we could expect uh, that is regular rugby league from the calls later on this afternoon and won the match twenty two six. So kept Thomas scoreless in the second half, and that's no mean feat. And I tell you what, in those days, of course, when the island nations were much more, uh, you know, combative yes. and played rugby league in the true spirit of it, they used to get yeah. in their boats That's with right. their axes and their large stones and go off and try and find people to play offshore because they would get together, obviously have the axe and stone off, find the best axe and stone people they could find, yes. into the boat, off they go. That's exactly right. Actually. Now, yeah. Roy... Yeah. And that goes back, you know, thousands and thousands of years. You said earlier 12,000 years. Yeah, 12,000 years, yes. Yep. It's exciting yep. times, isn't it? Mm. And just, uh, you know, quickly, is this an audition to have a PNG team in the NRL permanently? Do you think it's an audition for two reasons, HG. One that you've alerted us to, that is that the PNG, uh, at governmental official levels, want to have their national team in the uh, National Rugby League. And I, I think every Australian would tick that box saying yes. The other is, should that not happen, for individuals to step up, catch the eye of uh, your, your player agents, and uh, have their case prosecuted, you know, for some of the uh, for some of the clubs. And I tell you, uh, you're going to see this afternoon, HG, with uh, characters such as uh, you know Dion Ai and uh, to a lesser extent Glen Nami mm -hmm. uh, running around. These are the sorts of blokes who will be steering the Kummels around the paddock, and they're the sorts of blokes who could put their hands up and say, "Here I am." National Rugby League. Th when are you going to employ me? This is Four Nations Rugby League on Triple M. This is Throw 'em Wayhead Reggae Rugby League at its finest here on Triple M. So I'm joined on the sideline by a man who's virtually nude this afternoon, save a big gourd round the donger. Uh, Roy Slaven, welcome to Parramatta Stadium. Now, before the break, we were just going through some of the stars of yes. the Kummels lineup yeah. who are here, as you pointed out, both looking for contracts playing in a shop window on the highest level yes. and also auditioning as a unit yes. for a rugby league side in the uh, NRL in coming years. Just take us through some of the players you think we should be keeping an eye on this afternoon. Oh, OK, well, there have been very big raps, actually, on Menzi, uh, Menzi Yeri. Yes. Uh, Menzi Yeri is a, an incredible, incredibly aggressive player. Uh, very much an old-fashioned style player. I mean, you, you've only got to half close your eyes and look at Menzies Yeriachi and you can see how rugby league was played in New Guinea, let's say, three or 4,000 BC. It's a most uncompromising style. Uh, to a lesser extent, too, I'm looking forward to seeing Charlie Wabo uh, and, of course, Paul Ayton and David Loco. And David Loco, of course, is a pig farmer from the mm. southern highlands of New Guinea HG. Most uncompromising. He spent most of his time tackling pigs throughout his life. And we'll see that pig tackling style uh, applied to International Rugby League, I think, for the very first time. And that leads on to an interesting point. In some of the media build-up, you've been at pains to point out the, what I'd call, the rather 
<clears throat> slim pay as we now see yeah. uh, the some of the sections of the crowd, or at least I hope people at home yes. are seeing some of the sections of the excited they crowd. They are, aren't they? Uh, they're not at all, uh, the spirits aren't dampened. They've no. got their ponchos on and they're wearing footy jumpers, as you'd expect. Yeah. And it's looking as though it's going to be an afternoon, uh, you know, an c- afternoon of classical two styles of rugby league. Yes. The explosive, mm. stones, mm. axes, mm. bones through the nose, penis gourd style of the visitors up against the more, you know, un sober. The sober. More sober. Sober style. Australian style. What I was trying yeah. to get to, though, before, which is you were at pains in your columns and uh, media, uh, you know, articles and media yeah. build-up to the yeah. match to point out how little some of these players earned. Yeah, I know. Can you sh- give us an idea? Can you oh, set that okay. out? Can I tease you out on yeah. that? Yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to set this, HG, in the context of the Australian dollar at the moment, which at the moment, when I last looked, was uh, riding at 90, uh, I think 98.17 US cents. So the Australian dollar is is pretty strong at the moment. So the uh, if we look at the uh, if if we try to describe their wages in terms of Australian dollars, it comes down as this. Uh, for example, uh, David Loco, whom I referred to before, the pig ma- pig farmer, uh, he survives on uh, a very solid income uh, of roughly when he plays rugby league, sixty seven cents per game. So that gives you a bit of an idea, and he's one of the better paid. Uh, of the uh, Kumul team. I think uh, Menzies Yiri uh, has earned uh, a, a grand total so far for the Kumuls, and he's, I think this might be his 15th appearance for the Kumuls. Uh, he's already earned, I think, an, in his bank account is uh, $3.79. So that gives you a bit of a... We're, we're talking a different world here. We actually. are. We are. Totally we're talking people world. who play for the passion, for the... It's the number one sport yep. in uh, Papua New Guinea. Yep. Whatever you want, you, you know, there you can't, uh, as we now see the teams coming through yes. uh, from the rooms. Uh, if you want to do anything, you need to involve rugby yeah. league. Yeah. Played for almost from birth. Yes. Unlike in Australia, acquired mm-hmm. and seen as a lucrative uh, yes. early start to a career, say, in the media, well, yes. Lewis, Peter Sterling, etc. Uh-huh. Or, you know, going or in on property to, development. Property development, perfect. You know, perfect. That, that, I mean, these Australian players are millionaires, let's face it, mm-hmm. in comparison. They are millionaires, you know, full stop. You know, if they, if they uh, you know, look, at, if their husbandry of their income is done uh, decently. Now, look at these, uh, these New Guineans, HG. Look at them, this houseman system they've got. Well, they all get together and uh, and arms over the shoulders. Here they are. It's them against the world. Look at them. It's they're driven. They're here. They've come a hell of a long way. And I'm pleased, HG, to say that they're strapping their socks and their shorts arrived. They disappeared there for a little while. What did you make of that dispute? As I understand it, there's been a whip round uh, mainly in the Ipswich area, and they've got the jumpers or the borrowed jumpers. Well, just about all wearing the same two same jumpers as well, actually. You'll see the odd variation there because they didn't have a, enough jumpers to cover the whole team. And what is the dispute about? It you involved the sacking of uh, uh, Adrian, Adrian Lamb, Lamb, yes, and the uh, the arrival with the uh, witch's hat yeah. of uh, Janae. The yeah. Coach. Stanley Jenner, yeah. Stanley Jenner. Well, yeah, I think all right. their gear was sent to Lamb's Mob, Adrian Lamb's Mob, and they didn't want to send it on because they weren't guaranteed. They couldn't. They, they felt they wouldn't be paid the postage to send it on to Stanley Jenner. You know, it's, it's one of the. You're dealing with political issues, mm-hmm. New Guinea style, HG. New and when Guinea these style. players, as we now see some terrific pictures coming through from the rooms, yep. when you see these uh, players, you've got to understand that very few of them have been on a plane. Mm. That it, can I kind of phrase here? They mm. scared the shit out of them. Going oh on yeah, the they had it in the plane. A couple of them were, were really worried. HG, they yeah. didn't know what was going on. They, I mean, they, they could understand it philosophically and you know intellectually. I, okay, this big metal thing is going to go into the air, but uh, when you put it in the context that well, you're going to be sitting in it while it does it, that's the bit that worries them. This is Bone Through Nose, Gorn on Slug, and an axe at the back door. It's Kumul Rugby League on Triple M. And, Roy, one of the weird things, you know, there's so many stories connected with Kumul Rugby League is that a lot of the players had to learn to eat with a knife and fork. Mm. Uh, that obviously at home they don't eat with a knife and fork, they no. just pick it up and chew. That's right. I mean, actually, I've got to say, half the time I pick it up and chew, if I, especially if I'm eating a pie at the football. Yeah, so I've, I've seen you eating, eating sandwiches. Now, sandwiches. That's you, the thing is, you've got to apply a sandwich to whatever's in front of you. So if it's lamb chops and, say, uh, mashed pumpkin and potato and peas, you see it as a sandwich. You know, you, 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 you put the two chops together, you whack the other stuff in between, and, you and in you go. <laughs> Simple as that. And it's an effective way of eating, HG. I mean, it's, oh, let's face it. Let's face it. Human societies went for thousands of years before the invention of the knife and fork. Indeed, they got the chopsticks first. Yes. 
Then it took them a while to go invent a spoon. That's right. Mm. I, I, you know, I was going to say, uh, one of the other interesting aspects today, international rules, of course, Roy, mm. with Four Nations Rugby League. And yeah. the referee this afternoon, dare I say it, is a New Zealander. Yeah. Uh, very worrying, a New Zealander. Yeah. Uh, and uh, one, only one referee. Yeah. I'm not sure who's in the box alongside us here with in front of the video screen, in front of the Samsung. Yeah. Uh, I just hope it's somebody with some you know, idea of how to turn it on and tune it to the correct channel. Yes. Uh, to their rugby, rugby league pictures, because that is, you know, I know a lot of people have sat in front of that screen and mm. pretended they're looking at something. Mm. They press the button, ref's call. Yes. You know, a lot of the time because they can't get the thing to work. Well, that's right. Harrigan for a start. Harrigan for a start. Yeah, hopeless Harrigan. Mm. Now, who is the referee? And you, I just saw you. Oh, look, I said, look, I came across his name. Isn't it a chap called Stem, I think? Stem. Okay, what, Charlie and Stem? Charlie Stem. And I was going to say, did I see you talking to him earlier? Or I did. I, go, I hurled some abuse at him because I knew he was a New Zealander. I knew he was a referee. So, you know, <laughs> two <laughs> out of three ain't bad. <laughs> uh, I said, Charlie, how long are you here? He said, my name's not Charlie. I said, it is to me. It is to me. Now, <laughs> has he come to blow? You yeah. know how some of these international referees, yeah. you see this time and time and time again, in that other card, which we can't mention, people wanting to big note themselves on the tweet. Yeah. You know, I don't want to see that. I want to see somebody who comes out here and lets it go. Yeah. If axes are involved, if big stones are involved, <laughs> we want to see them out here. We don't want them sent off for that sort of rubbish no, because no. that's what would happen. Yeah. I mean, the, the stones and the axes not being sent off, yeah. that's the sort of thing that would happen in Lay, in Moresby, mm. in Garoka, mm. in Mount Hagen, mm. top of the Seabick River, all those great for Bougainville. Yeah. I mean, it's that, that's the culture we're dealing with. We're dealing with the football culture. That, that's exactly right, HG. Look... It's fair to say that there's a different philosophical attitude towards uh, abuse or otherwise of the head. Now, in we've become very sanitised with our rugby league here in Australia, HG. You know, head hunting, going out there and smashing someone in the head, is frowned upon in our game and has been. You know, head high tackles have been outlawed for some time. Now, not so in other parts of the world. Uh, in some parts of the world, you know, smashing someone in the head is absolutely legitimate. Now, it's very hard then for some players to make these adjustments to their tackling style mm-hmm. uh, because it's bred into them. If you see a head, give it a, you know, give it a whack. Mm. If it's on the ground, give it a kick. Mm. You know, it's, it's very, very normal. That's, that's often the way rugby league is played. Now, I hope that this Charlie Stim character isn't going to be pedantic when it comes to the head. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, when it comes, I, I don't want him blowing, blowing the kummels away. For a little bit of light head work, but on the other, on the other, on the other, uh, but uh, on the other side, I hope he stamps on whatever Watmo gets up to. Well, I have entirely agree. Stime, you know, he's got a slim grasp of the rules. Mm. I don't want to see forward passes. No. I don't want to see a lot of you know technical technical things. stuff. Technical, yeah. let it go. Now, yeah. two things about like it. Stime, little knock-ons in the play the ball. I hate that. Let him mm-hmm. just play the bloody ball. Uh, now, steam. Obviously, obstruction is going to be a big problem for Stein. Yeah. And Steam, when he gets blowing, yeah. he won't stop. That's no. his trouble. No, that's his the trouble. The other thing, can I say, is uh, as we get... Uh, oh, you know, we another... might be getting ready for the national anthems, too, it's HG. I, I, would it be the guest nation first, so we're going to get the New right. Guinea and I'm pretty uh, sure the Papua New Guinea. Oh, the yeah. team's out there. A bit hard the boys fired up, and there's, there's, oh, there's Lewis, Luke Lewis. Lottie to carry on screen. Welcome back, Lottie. And there's a man seeking redemption there, Nate. Miles. Pulling the corridor miles. Isn't yeah. this a great story? It's a wonderful it story, in. isn't it? It is. I the hope miles, he keeps sorry. it in. Keeps it in today. You hope, I hope, can... hope he doesn't think he's in a hotel there for a minute while he's out there. And next thing you know, you know hey, people Presto. are gassed. <laughs> now, the next bit of the puzzle mm. is, you know, obviously, we've got to ask, mm. seriously, mm. how are the uh, visitors going to hold the Australians? I mean, are you hopeful that... They don't. Australians don't score for ten minutes. That's what I'm hoping, H.G. I, as I said to the boys when I was talking to the Cornwalls through a translator, mm-hmm. if you can hold the Australians to nothing for ten minutes, you've won. Mm-hmm. You've won the game. Mm-hmm. You know that's all they've got to do. <laughs> and and if they can somehow snare a penalty for uh, uh, what mo doing something stupid, and I, I, you know, if you're going to take a bet on someone doing something stupid, get some money on what mo, uh, and they can maybe find someone who can kick goals, and I don't know if they have. I don't know if they've thought about goal kicking. No. They'll make it up on the spot. They will. Somebody yeah, will They'll find it. someone who's prepared to put their hands the up and say, I'll principle. have a go. Yeah. 
And here's Paul Aiton leading the uh, Kummels out onto the uh, hallowed turf here yep. at Parramatta Stadium. Looks as though he's been here all his life. Does. He's Look how proud of... these boys are. They're fantastic. They're representing the nation. Everybody in PNG who are taking the Triple M call this afternoon will be watching. They've got 32 million people, eyes glued to these very pictures, these magnificent pictures yep. here from Parramatta Stadium. And uh, I, I just think this is a wonderful occasion. You know, this international rugby league from a country who... This is the national sport in PNG Rugby yes, League. Yeah, but look at this. Just imagine the pride, HG. And I hope they put those unsightly uh, bits of string around their uh, midriff, their tossel area. I hope they put the, have the presence of mind to put tuck that away because the Australians will take advantage of that. They'll, they'll, they'll pull those oh, strings. They will. They will. Now the other thing is, uh, Roy, uh, when it comes to it, will they? Will, you know, obviously the PNG side can't leave anything out there. No, they've got to throw absolutely everything, everything in that out. first They'll 10 and... minutes. And that's the thing I would like people, especially young kids, HG, you might be watching rugby league for the first time, to have a look at the passion in the New Guinean defence in that first three or four minutes. It... They'll, they'll run out of puff after a little while because they're going to put so much into it in that first three minutes. But for that first three minutes, can I let tell you, actually, these kangaroos are going to know they're in a game of rugby league. Oh, you know, sure, it might get a little bit uh, you know, lighter towards the end of the game. But these first three minutes... This first three minutes, mm-hmm. that, that's where the New Guineans have got, the Kummels have got to step up. Lucky like leads the boys out, the Kangaroos out, uh, Cam Smith in the orange boots. Oh, no, it's a tragedy about to happen. Who allowed him to wear the orange boots as we see the bench players now coming here? Might be uh, Gidley there in the uh, last person out. Uh, obviously, uh, Tonga there on screen. Uh, obviously, Roy, Leroy Lars has played against the Papua New Guinea side and yep. found it a most confronting experience. He did. He, couldn't get, he short, couldn't get out of bed for a week. I know, especially short players belting him around the head. Yes. He, he said, wondered how they got up that high. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and so now the uh, Australian side there, grouping yeah. up there, look, they're, they're fired up. Here's your houseman system, HG. Everyone <laughs> has a word. Everyone, has, everyone can shout. Everyone can put in. You know, they've all got their ideas out there about ball security, playing the ball. Uh, when you take shots at goal or play on. Yes. 40-20 tw- kicks or 20-40 yes. kicks. Mounting pressure. Yeah, mounting pressure. Yeah, very good. Mm. And hasn't the crowd responded, Roy? I yeah. mean, there must be one or two people... Yes. On the far side, away from the uh, card table side Thanks here, at the, and here we go. Look, this is what this is the culture. The this is the yeah, here is the national anthem coming the up. National actually. anthem of Papua New Guinea. Yeah. Yeah. It's Will fantastic. Be by the Papua New Guinea community, led yeah. by Sophia Mayer. Oh, it's tremendous. This national anthem. New Guinea National Anthem, a terrific version of it. Uh, I mean, uh, Those the bird calls are great, aren't they? They are. They're the Bird of Paradise calls yes, from the Mountain are. Hagen area and tremendously recorded there. Uh, wonderful work there. And can I just say... By a young Australian artist of Samoan heritage. Oh, oh right. Well, now we, yes, this will be a terrific version of it. Uh, look, I always look forward to this moment. Yes, uh, the Australian National Anthem. They must can't be far away now as we cross down for the Australian National Anthem here at Paradise. Comes a man, he must do the best he can to live his life and find his childhood dream. I've had the good times and the bad, but 
the biggest break I've had was when I found that girl that thought of only me. Thank you for your smile and the love that's in your eyes. Thank you for the heart that's big and true. Thank you for the many things you are. I love. Let me thank you for just being. And with the national anthems out of the road, everything is readiness for this Four Nation clash. The second Four Nation clash, obviously in front of the Mick Cronin stand between Papua New Guinea and uh, Australia. And Roy, I was just worried about the uh, what I call the third one in on the uh, Papua New Guinea lineup. He seemed mm. to have an enormous cast with a lot of plays written on his arm. I just hope the, uh, uh, Australians, the Australians don't, don't tweak. read him. Yeah, 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 I know they're going to hold him down and have a look. Oh, yeah, okay, ball security, big problem. Yeah. Uh, run on the fourth, etc. And yeah. uh, fantastic, this culture reminds me so much of a match the Swans put on once to celebrate some aspect of Anzac Day, and oh, they've got a lot of the Fuzzy Wuzzy Angels down That's right. with the spears and Fantastic. dress up. It was yeah. just great. Very similar day. Yeah, very and a very similar. exciting day. Yes. Because you realise we can walk to Papua New Guinea almost? Yeah, on a that's right. Tide. You can on you can on a low tide. Yeah. Cap York, and here Look at go. this, SG. This is a fantastic, a sort of a harker. Fantastic, short yeah. version Harker, I love it. Mm. And uh, now, as we get uh, into play, now, yeah, play, hope they don't go off too quickly. Well, hey, that's their style. They will go off too quickly. But I tell you what, if the Australia, if the, I hope the Papua New Guineans are kicking off because defence is what I love seeing in the early. Oh no, look, it looks like the Australians are kicking yes. off. Yeah, they are. Now, if I was the New Guineans, actually, as soon as I received the ball, I'd be kicking it straight back. <laughs> Now, and so, the, 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 the Kummels love tackling, actually. They just Stein, love tackling. His uh, Rem, Shane Rem it is. Yeah, he's changed Rem. his name. <laughs> well, that'd be right. <laughs> Typical of a new Charlie Zealand. Charlie Rem. Yeah, I know. Ro- <laughs> Rem. He gets the game underway. We're underway. Four Nations Rugby League. Kummels v Kangaroos. The Kummels take it on their line in goal. Who's running it up? Comes. Here it comes the first hit up of the afternoon. Look at this. All that energy. Going easy yardage the... there for the Kummels, oh. HG. Very easy yardage. Kummels now getting it out over the 10 metre line. Very one on. Look at this. 22. Look at the drive. Oh, I know. The little player, a pocket dynamo. Might be their winger there who is enormously fit and physical. And Paul Layton with the ball now it looks like and he's taken back there by a solid reception committee the kangaroos know they're in a game here even after three tackles we're coming up to the fourth tackle it's plenty of movement of the ball right. movement they're trying to keep it alive Roy yep. lovely bit of head high there and showing the ball too I shoot look out for what Mo here wide pass here's the kick now not a huge penetrating kick but it's not too bad and well uh, deep now look at this defense I shoot watch these couples come in here we go. Here we go. A slider. Here Run it is him back. <laughs> Beautiful work there from the Kummels. And so the score, if you've just joined it, 52 seconds played, nil all. Nil, nil all. all. Friday with the ball. He punches it up, taken down there by a Kummel reception committee. Okay, uh, first minute, they haven't scored. It's incredible. It's a triumph for the Kummels. And they're going to get... Oh, look at this. Ah, that's more like it. Tight, tight, tight. Yes. And remember, no one's talking tight. A back again. It goes to Petro. Sure, Big Petro. Petro lumbers up. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. They're leaving nothing out there, and they've only played a minute 18. It's incredible. If they come off now, it'll be a Ford win to pass. That was a forward pass to Nate Miles. And no Miles Keep your Nate. trousers on, Miles. <laughs> no wiping here, son. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a penalty. They pulled a penalty. And they held him down in the tackle house. Shocked. Absolutely robbed. There was nothing in that There was rain. nothing in that, actually. I'd nothing. love to see that on replay if we could, but oh, you won't get that you from won't nine. Get that from nine? <laughs> oh, sorry, you will. Sorry. <laughs> Here they are. Now there was nothing this. in this at all. No, I was just holding Miles nothing. down and talking oh, to him no, a little very, bit. Very rueful there. And yeah, so the Australians okay. go plenty of metres there. Lottie Jakiri flicks the ball okay. into the middle there. And away it comes now. Back into the middle. Looks like Miles, Miles with the ball. Another hit up. Good defence there from the Kummels. Chopped his legs right from under him. Beautiful old-fashioned work there. I think it might have been from Aiton there again. And away it goes over the far side now. There's a big run there coming through. But it's well diffused. Well read by the Kummels offence. Uh, now they've got Cam Smith at uh, dummy half. He's going to have a run himself. No, he doesn't decide to pass out wide. No, this and is looking threatening. Bit, bit of a Lewis, run here. Luke Lewis, stop him. Good they have. Back to Blazer, back to Tonga. Tonga now off the pace, decides to see a gap there in Kummel defence, but he's no, 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 far too quick for Tonga, and they push him back. And now they've form, reformed the line here. They've set the line deep. Away it comes now, away from the cartel. Here's the kick into the Angola. Well read, Kummel. Oh, no, it might be a try. It's a slater. It can't be a try. Cannot. Cannot be a try. No, grounding, grounding. No, no, no. I'll tell you what, the third umpire, they're going to give this a try. I'll tell you, they are. 
They are. But I tell you, to the naked eye, it wasn't a try at all. To the naked eye, it wasn't a try. He basketballed the ball down. And yeah. I tell you what, the, the Australian, the Australians are, you know, terrified of an yeah. early Kummel win here. Oh, okay, now Slater is onside by the look of it, so we're okay. I'm not there. worried about onside. Or now the Kummels appeared to have this covered. Eight. She was yes. just a technical s- mistake. Sad here. bounce of the ball. Well, they allowed. just flicked it down. You couldn't say, "Watch this." Yeah. Now look at this. Slater comes through. Has he got control yeah, of the got ball? Control I of that. don't think he's controlled that. He's he's got to be I'm no not going to give that a try. No. I'm and going to say, Kummels, you stood up. You withstood the first barrage from Australia, stand proud. Yes, yeah, stand proud. And can I point out, if this is given a try, Roy and I are leaving, yes. and we're never, ever going to call. Thanks very much. Good. I was going to say, we're never, ever going to call a game of rugby league exactly. again. Exactly. Fact. Tremendous exactly. defence there from the Kummels, but they need to be away. They need yep. to realise the Slater is quick. And if the sooner they kick him in the head, the better. That's right. They come from a restart on the 20. Tap, uh, okay. Comes. Running it up. Kummels yeah. running it up. I like no, this bloke in the headgear. Uh, I think he's the number 10. He's uh, Moina, Moni. 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 That's George a, Moni, yeah. He's a the pig farmer. The, pi- well, the pig farmer. Pig farmer and pig farmer. And oh, oh, oh a head ball. high, high tackle there from Lockyer, surely. Oh, no, they're going to play. Well, that, no, 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 it was Lewis, name? I should Lewis, say. Yeah. Now, that's a, bit of a, 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 that's a bit of a disappointment. It there is a disappointment. That's that's poor ball security from the Kummels. You'd expect better ball security from the Kummels, but there it's very wet. And then Aiton dropped the ball. Well, as a one-on-one stripper. But then I reckon the ball went backwards. That's just me, though. Yeah. Being a Kummel supporter. Yeah. And so he, uh, uh, Australia get the feed in the scrum. Uh, looks to me as a cronk, cronk, then cronk. goes away, gets it on Lock, the far yeah. side onto Tate. No one's talking Tate as the Kummel's bottling up. Tate and they are bottling up Tate. They are. Bottling bottling up tight. Tight. They are. Oh, that's great work. They've got an idea or two and they fall over. There's the trouble is they're going to get penalised here for holding the play down. No, they're not. Play on. Well done, Noreen. Uh, and away goes Thiday. Thiday now going on the far side. Oh, look at that. There's a work there. Oh, I thought I had a worrying moment there as he's held out. Back it comes to Cam Smith. Cam Smith plays it on to Big Petro. Petro knocked over on the, uh, might be the 20 metre line. They're worried. They're in the red Great zone Great work now. from Dion. AEH bringing down Petro there. It was fantastic work. Lockie running wide. Then he goes back on the Gallon. inside to Gallon. Gallon standing in the tackle. He tries to get away. Lock on lock. I love that work. That's aided again. Way it goes to Cam Smith. They've got it out wide. Thiday comes Looking charging Looking dangerous on. here, Thiday. Oh, defused beautifully by Kummel Defence. Magnificent defence. Yeah. And we've played four minutes, 14. No score. No score. No score. Okay, and, uh, but hold it out. About, oh, that, somebody got thumped out who didn't have the ball there, but it's over the sideline. Uh, and, oh, no, play on. Did play they kick on. that I think play? it's all right, HG. Yeah, I think it's the fifth tackle coming oh. up. We're going to see a kick here. Will they defuse the bomb? Lockie puts it up. Tactical little kick. Kubbles there. Hits the upright. Hits the Oh, no, oh, no, bloody no. hell. Oh, you couldn't believe oh, that for a million hell. years. Oh, Eddie. bloody hell, luck's bad, isn't it? I know. That's just that's tragedy just there. That's luck. taken all the steam Look, out of the game. I know they're going to get four points for this, but I'm not going to give it to Australia. I'm just going to keep it nil all because that came off the upright, yeah, didn't well, it? The upright scored. As we yeah. see the kick here, it's a bit hard to imagine that he actually aimed for the upright there, yeah. but I could believe that. He's a good that. player, Lockie, but I don't think he's that good. Now, look <laughs> at this. Why didn't the umpire just kick it out there, the referee? He had a... Yeah, excellent opportunity. Well, that's the trouble with uh, Reem. Yeah. He won't get involved. Well, this he doesn't want to get involved. No, he doesn't want to get involved. Well, this is a tragedy, HG. This is an absolute bloody tragedy for, for, the, for, the, for the heart of the Kummels. The Kummels were hoping to go for 10 minutes. Yes, it is a try. So Slater gets the first try yeah. off, a, off a kick, yeah. uh, which hit the upright, bounced fortuitously in his direction, yeah. helped on by the uh, referee. Yeah. And, there was uh, no skill involved. No skill, absolutely. From the, from the Australians. And None so five minutes, we're just up at the five-minute mark, or it might even be the four-minute 15 mark, yeah. and we have a score at the moment of 4-0. But, that, uh, that's right. Well, they kept about for nearly five minutes, though, HG, and that, that's not bad. That's 50% of what they were aiming for. Isn't it? it? It's a fantastic result for Papua New Guinea and rugby league, and the standard of the game, Roy. Yeah. Well, so far, very good. I mean, you've just got to say the ball security could be a little better at this stage mm-hmm. from the Kumals, but they've managed to force Australia to resort to... Kicking. And can I say, the only one thing that worries me is it's been largely played in the uh, PNG half. Well, that's true. We haven't seen much attack yet. From no, the we haven't. Cameron that's Smith. yet to be revealed. Cameron Smith here trying to add the icing yeah. uh, to the cake made by, uh, obviously, Billy Slater just a moment yeah. ago. And he kicks it and he's got it. So the he's score yeah. in the Four Nations at the moment, early days, is 6-0. Papua New Guinea Rugby League, here in the shop front of the world on Triple M. Ah, uh, yes, now, Tate's in trouble here, I bet. With his that, neck, but he's been wearing that neck brace all of his life, actually. I, it tells me there must be something wrong with his neck. 
<laughs> Can I just say that that if you were going into a game uh, and you wore a neck brace, wouldn't yeah. that be the exact spot that you'd direct your attack to? Well, exactly. The back of Tate's neck and yeah. exactly what they did. Uh, we're underway again. Nate Miles with the ball. He comes up and he's taken well by a reception committee there of uh, Kummels. Uh, the trouble is Kummels have put in a lot of play. Oh, oh no. no. Nothing. Oh, in go. Kummels were just excited. They'd got the big bloke down. He's the bloke who, you know, Likes to get led down. the toilet parade at the hotel. And they just want to give him a bit of a push. Yeah, six Nothing nil. in it. It's six nil if you've just joined it, and that was disappointing. As there's a bit of a, yeah. I don't know, some sort of cel- uh, you know arcane Highland celebration, which I didn't get the message of. Mm-hmm. And here's Cam and his uh, orange boots onto Lockie. Lockie out wide now, looking for the Nate Miles who caused the penalty before, and they can hurt you from here. The, he's uh, pulled two penalties, Miles. Hasn't yeah, he's he? done very well. Yeah, very well. He's taken on the role of uh, Thorn. Yeah, we yet to see a penalty go to the Kummels yet. No, that's right. Very uh, safe. The uh, Australians yeah. with the ball. At the so moment. you'd have to question the. You think neutrality of the referee? You would. You would. <laughs> now, <laughs> the other thing is, do you what have these Kummels got to do to get a penalty? Oh, indeed. Is Miles going to let a bit of carpet go today? Do you think? Well, just I hope for the so. Fans? I hope so. You know, so. because a lot of kids have come to see it, He's and they'll be disappointed. Here, yeah, a big run here. Mercifully, it's a big fat. And yeah. uh, so there'll be a restart uh, with the Kummels. From the 30-metre uh, mark, it, she, it'll be the Kummels. Uh, able to mount something able to here. Mount something and here. Uh, obviously, uh, young uh, Cronky there says, oh, he's a bit yeah. fat. I understand that. Kummels have the ball back. It comes now into the middle of the park, right on the triple yeah. M signage Yeah, there. we'll get off him. Uh, back, to, back up, plays the ball out. It comes onto the card table side of the ground. It's uh, easy defence there. No, nothing going on there. We've uh, seen him going with his knees there now, she. I don't know if that's allowable anymore. This is Bone Through Nose, Gorn on Slug, and an axe at the back door. It's Kummel Rugby League on Triple M. This is Throw Em Wayhead, Reggae Rugby League at its finest, here on Triple M. Well, it is in this match with your axes and your yeah. stones and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. I think the knees are perfectly a good attacking implement if yeah. used uh, judiciously. We've got Rion with the ball. He plays it back now uh, with the Kummels uh, almost up to uh, halfway, but they're making hard yards of yes, it. I mean, they've, they've made, got to get uh, it wide somewhere in oh, here. Hello. Oh, they've got a penalty. Time there. All Thank day, you ref. Very much. All day offside. Kangaroos. This is a, a rhyme here with the... Uh, yeah, no, with no, the they decide who's going to kick, is she? Yes, this bloke is. Right, who's kicking? Well, I haven't quite got that uh, in my uh, no. binoculars at the moment. No. Uh, as we see now, the Kummels uh, with their first penalty of the afternoon. It's a good kick, isn't but it, it doesn't, doesn't find doesn't touch. Find touch oh, right. that's, sad. that's a bugger, isn't it, when that happens? <laughs> but I'd say the conditions... Oh, oh that's my yes. like getting lot lot of things he can claim as well, fair Well, OK, look, oh. he was... They, they did lift him up above the horizontal, and they did force his head into the turf. I suppose, technically... It was an illegal tackle, but, but gee, it would. You know, it does look <laughs> There was nothing wrong with it apart from and, that. And can I say, I think there was a bit extra in that because Lottie played rugby union for all that time. Yeah, they resent they, that. They do. They the don't Cornwalls a, hate rugby league, yeah, rugby <laughs> union. They do. Absolutely they, don't, they won't play it. They won't play it. It's just yeah. anathema to them. Yeah. And, oh, that's oh bad. I love I that. Back door. He got hold of the penis cord and pulled him up with it. Yeah. A lot of leverage in that tackle. Two blokes at his back door and then he ripped it apart. <laughs> it's fantastic. So now we've got, uh, let's see, Gallon with the ball now. Gallon standing there being bundled over. I'm not sure exactly. The, they don't seem to have any wings or, well, you know, wide play, the Kummels. I think that would be... Oh, oh lucky. Yeah, lucky was lucky. hurt in that oh, tackle. Yeah, no, no, that's oh, good. he's oh. going on with it. <laughs> oh, that, that, that's Yuri. That's Menzi Yuri, actually. Big raps Yuri. on the boy. We've had, we've had tremendous raps on Yuri. Yeah. And Lockie's in trouble here. Lockie's he looks, in trouble. They come again oh, Yuri launched him yeah. over that bloke. Missed him completely. <laughs> But by golly, it looked good. You can't question the commitment of Yuri. You cannot. They won't leave anything out here, Roy. They're not going to take anything back. Kummels have gone up a notch. Kummels have gone right up a notch. It's almost 10 minutes play. They realise the cruciality of this 10-minute mark. They want to get a try on the board before 10 minutes up. Well, no, no, they want to get a lot of these Australians off the park. (laughs) Well, I understand that. Big bomb here out to the right. Oh, and Uh, uh, beautifully diffused. Magnificent play. And and this bloke might have been tackled before. He he got the ball. Why is that a penalty? Let's have a look in replay here. I know there's the tackle there. That's a great tackle. He, saw he the just knee. headbutted. He smote him <laughs> with force. And there we oh, go. Look at this. The reggae rugby league as we've come to know and love. That was Parker as a big, big attack from Parker, the, the inside centre. And he's, uh, they, now they've got it away to the little half. The half is powering up the park. And they've, oh, look, now the Australians are having to go oh, in three and four. Oh, Wrong. Yes, Don't try and be roughhouse with a cobble. <laughs> 
<laughs> and it goes on the fast. Now they're starting oh, to spread. Oh, no. Oh, the no. plays. Defused there by dropping the ball. Yeah. And so the Australians... Sometimes you do forget to catch the ball. You well, see that's... it coming towards you and you think, oh, is it for me? No. Well, usually you think it's for somebody else. Yes. But, you know, mercifully, uh, that was a very bad mistake and yeah. the kangaroos can hurt them from there. Oh, beautiful work there. That might have been Miles there with the ball. No, it can't be Miles. Oh, I think it's Sivan Asiva each Yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, so they've just swapped drives. jumpers in the, uh, in the intervening period. Oh, he runs. Oh, uh, Cameron watch. Smith decides to run by himself, but he's t- taken by a lot of instructions here. Cronk getting involved. Here's Cronk with the ball now. He's got it running out the outside. Just has to go himself, and then he gets on pass. Oh, oh good, good work. Oh, he gave oh, him one. Magnificent oh, he there. gave him one. Oh, yes. They... That's Riong. That's uh, Riong. He Rion. punched him fair in the head. <laughs> oh, yes. Riong's here to play. What a tremendous demonstration of a reggae rugby league yes. at its finest there. I tell you what, the Australians don't like being punched in the head, do they? <laughs> Look at this. What's <laughs> going on now? Big punch in the oh, gallon. It's all laughs Punches out there the, now. Yeah, that's right. It's, isn't it being played in tremendous spirit too? Yes, it is, HG. You yeah. know, the, the Australians haven't encountered yeah. so many punches to the head no. uh, since they had Was that a, a beautiful tackle from Rio? Oh, it's fantastic. Perfectly timed. Mm. Way it goes now, and it uh, looks like it's uh, Lewis with the ball now, the second row, yeah. is it? Yeah. Uh, and uh, he's picked up the ball there, playing it back to Cam Smith. Cam Smith goes for the line, then he sights it. Gallon, Gallen, very Gallen, dangerous. Oh, Gallon goes through. Oh, he almost chopped his Adam's apple out yeah, there. But that right. can happen in Rego Rugby League. Back yeah. to Cam Smith, they're playing the ball. Oh, away it goes, and it uh, looks like it's out on the far side. Oh, Slater's good defence. Oh, Slater, well, oh, they knew what tremendous. was happening there. Is that Yuri again? Uh, it could well be. He's very strong out wide, Isn't aren't they? And, uh, oh, oh, they're yeah. forcing mistakes now. Yeah, I'd call that a knock-on. Of course it was a knock-on. You clown! Just because you got the name, Krog! Doesn't mean you can get away with it. And there's Stanley Jenner loving everything he's seen. Yeah. Uh, obviously, obviously. Uh... Now, oh, sorry, penalties 4-1. 4-1. Right, to Australia, of course. Yeah. Here it is, a, a chance for Doesn't them to get Krog on the Doesn't Krog look stupid sometimes? He d- certainly does. I mean, that's a fundamentally... Oh, yeah. you sure laugh about it. Oh, right, oh, Green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You oh, thought yeah, it went good. backwards. Well, it didn't. This is international rugby league. You're playing the Kummels. And this is the Four Nations. Tremendous scrum. Well, look, look at this Kummel scrum, HG. Just... I mean, there's a lesson there, isn't there? Look at the way it ca- Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh bloody oh, hell. It's Lewis oh, now no. with the ball. Lewis oh, throwing no. over on the line that's there. That's twice they've dropped the ball on the first tackle. This is sad. You can't, you yeah, can't expect I mean, to Stanley, win. I mean, Stanley has to get to him at half time. He's got to get him into the sheds and say, oh, that's better. Yeah, You've got to get him into the sheds the and just explain. they love tackling. They don't like it when they've got the ball. No, that's right. They're much better at the defence than they yes. are at the attack. But that'll come. I mean, They're once they get a team in the NRL, that attack will come. It will come. And yeah. uh, terrific work here as it comes down... Uh, uh, Smith yeah, and then going, going wide, wide, lock, yeah. very wide, trying to find a one. He's one on the outside. They should be able to go and score here. Tight, tight, oh, too, yeah. too easy. The yeah. score in the big one, ten nil. This is Four Nations. This is a Test match. This is Kummels versus Kangaroos. Live on Triple M. Well, they took a long time to get their second try. The Australians, they'll be devastated by that. I don't think Tate will ever play rugby league again, the way mm. he's hobbling out there with his neck. Yeah. He's, uh, you know, obviously the buttocks is gone. He's had been attacked yeah. in the head. Yeah. Out wide it goes. Roy, take us through it, these final seconds. Well, he just an inside step, really. A year he was committed to the outside man, and uh, Tate took advantage of that and just stepped inside uh, the flying Yiri. Uh, just as well he did step inside him, too, because had Yiri hit him, he would have cut him in half. Uh, but uh, look, so far, I, I think the Kummels have got everything to be proud of. I mean, what, what we're 14 and a half minutes in and it's 10 nil. Uh, it could have been a lot worse. And if you do drop the ball, I, I, I'm sure Stanley Genet will be telling them this at half time remember to hold the ball. Mm. A lot of them forget that. Mm. You know, you put so much effort into your defence, you think, oh, the ball, what do we do with it? <laughs> you know, uh, will I just drop it here? And get out of the way. Are you disappointed just as a side issue? Mm. Is this match isn't being televised in 3D? <laughs> you know, because I think that a lot of the, what would I call it, the beauty yeah. of the game, the reggae rugby league style. Yeah, right. well, it was a great opportunity by, uh, say, Channel 9. To you get know, involved to get in lot 3D. Of, a lot of people and families involved in 3D, yeah, yes. So they would have loved yes. it. Mm. I assumed it was going out in 3D well, I and was... on HD, but apparently it's not. No, well, I, I assumed all of that too. I mean, I thought it would take over most channels here as it has yeah. in Papua New Guinea where our Well, I would have loved take... it to go into 3D into Moresby. Yeah, exactly. That's my point. Yeah. Yeah, I would have loved to have seen them exposed to the 3D technology. Yeah. Cam Smith's got a kick and it's coming back beautifully. Beautifully, does it come back far enough? Yes, it does. 12 0 on the big one. We're two now, Roy, for. Oh, well, match. back to basics, I think, for the Kummels HG. They're going to. The, 
you know, this might be their first opportunity actually to get the feeling of what it's like to be in the Australian Territory when they kick off. Uh, or the second opportunity at least. This is just a replay of that, uh, of that tape triage. She just comes inside. Yes. Really, and a oh. knee in the head there. Yeah, from, there's nothing uh, wrong with that. I missed that in the call. Uh, Ryan Tongia. What to be said about Tongia and his knee work, isn't there? Well, he's a roof installer. Yes. Ah, uh, used so... to being used to using the knee a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he can punch in nails with that knee, Roy. Yeah. Uh, roofing know. nails. I've seen it. It's a party piece, but he does it every day of the week. Well, I think he had every intention of punching a nail into Tate's head <laughs> with that <laughs> knee. And he plays for the Titans Toyota Cup. All right. Uh, and uh, the Australians now working the ball up. Petro with the ball again here, oh, taken, yeah. uh, you know, obviously just on the 30-metre line. We don't want to see another penalty now from the uh, Kumuls here. Oh, I, they kicked early. early. I mean, that's putting the white flag up, isn't it, really? It is. They're going to try and run this down, but they're, they're speedy. Oh, uh, Bloody hell, it's a good kick. Oh! 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 <laughs> well, well, but you don't see these things very often, H.C., in the National Rugby League where the kick has come down. You know, it's a good attempt at a 40-20, really, I suppose, at the end of the day. And the, uh, the terrific uh, fullback, Ryan Tongia, whose knee work we were just appreciating a moment ago, managed just... to keep the ball in and deposit it over his try line, at which point the Australian arrived and put the ball down. <laughs> <laughs> this you will know. I've never seen I've this never before seen this in a game, and let alone at this magic. level. This it is the magic of, of New Guinean Rugby League. <laughs> yeah, that's Reggae <laughs> Rugby League. And a tremendous try there. I think, uh, who, who's actually scored that I try? I think it might have been Cronk. Uh, Cronk. Cronk. Yes, Cooper Cronk, the bloke with the Rugby League name. Now, yeah. I've got to say is that that's taken the stuffing a little bit out of the uh, Kumul attack, hasn't it? Because there was a chance yeah. to get the ball back. Yeah, there was. And they didn't it was their chance to feel what it's like to be in the Australian half, <clears> which <throat> was robbed by Smith, whom we thought was putting the white flag up. I didn't realise Sheen's had this brilliant move. Wonderfully executed. And did we check to see if Cronk was on side? Well, I'm not going to worry about no, that right I'm now. Bitter he wasn't. It was oh, too... he wasn't. No, I bet he wasn't on side. Uh, can I just say, mm. is that it's very hard to coach for that, though, isn't it? To oh, actually, very hard. I mean, know, Gene can the just kick. say, boys, that's rugby league. You can't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, you can't worry about that. No. I, mean, I mean, these things just happen every now and again. I mean, it's like a car accident, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Cam Smith from the sideline. He's got two from two today. Can he convert the Cronk try? Mm. And the score will then go out to, what are we up to now? Uh, 16 at the moment. This will take it to 18. Yeah. Yeah. She's starting to look pretty handsome. Uh, the score, here it comes now, the kick. And he's missed. No, he does not that. So the score remains at 16 nil. And the only thing I would say... Uh, Roy, is I would have liked to have seen the next play had the PNG kept the ball. Oh, yeah. That would have been exciting. That would have been fascinating, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would. Here we Here are, seeing it in replay, and we didn't check to see uh, whether it was on side or this not. This is terrific work. Wonderfully kept in, though, there, <laughs> wasn't it? Uh, oh, bloody You know, God. they'll improve. They'll improve. He's yeah. claiming he t- grounded it, but I don't think that's right. The PNG player, mm. it was a Tongia. Tongia, yeah, the knee man. And we're underway again uh, with the kickoff. It's uh, yeah. been a very entertaining oh. game. So right, far, the Cobbles have just got to say, all right, let's imagine it's nil all. Yeah, that's exactly right. right. We've got to keep doing what we do. It kept us in the game, you know, going for people's heads, you know, punching them where we can, yeah. uh, cu- trying to cut them in half, but this time let's make it stick yeah. and don't let too many of, like, you know, these, uh, mm. well, those And let's not drop types. the ball too much. Yeah, well, we'll worry about that in a minute when yeah. we get the ball. Thide Sam with the Thide. ball. Good, he's been quiet, hasn't he? They've quiet. kept Thide quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Kept him very, very quiet. Lockyer gives wide. Well, it comes now. The runners are getting involved. He's slowed up. And he, he's, uh, who's this with the ball? Tonga Tong now, up. actually. Uh, and uh, Lottie couldn't get the ball to Lottie. That's a great achievement there for the Cornwall yeah. Rugby League. Yeah. But he goes to Cronk. Cronk goes on the inside. Yes, to Kiri. Uh, Kiri. Oh, yes. Remember, they, uh, they might have tried to drive his head into the ground last time he was in this part of the paddock. And oh, they're trying down this side again where they got the well, try beforehand. I suspect there's a bit of a weakness here with the... Uh, the, uh, with uh, Tongia, the, uh, the, the fullback. fullback for the corporate. And how are the, uh, the people in the traditional garb taking it, Roy? You know, they talk Well, disappointed. I think they're a little bit disappointed with Kumul handling. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. And so he played t- uh, just on 20 minutes and score 16 nil. if you've just yep. joined a very entertaining game of rugby league. Yep. Reggae rugby league at its finest, of course. Yep. And uh, the Kumuls... It's good to see the Kumuls holding onto the ball here, actually, isn't it? I mean, this is the second <coughs> tackle they've held it. This is refreshing, refreshing mm. from Kumul rugby league because they do like yep, to give it up early do. in the tackle count. Three tackles already. The kangaroos are confused <laughs> by the ball being in the hands of the Kumuls for so long. Oh, it goes on the far side, away from the card table, and it might be... Uh, let's see who's that out there on the far side. Griffin with the ball now. Mm-hmm. He's knocked over uh, just inside uh, Australian territory. 
territory. Yeah. And here's the kick now on the tackle. I'm not sure quite what oh, the kick is. It's a good kick. But he's just straight to Slater, oh, though. Slater, well yeah, read by right. Slater. Mm. And away comes now. If they get Slater on the outside, they've got one away there on the inside. But the mercifully goes back to Tate. Tate knocked over with oh, and then oh, comes in with a bit barged of, into good, <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> Just a bit late there with the swinging arm, but uh, yeah, still, that's hey, okay. that's why you have neck brace there to absorb that sort of punishment. <laughs> I'll be rigging the interchanges now, and uh, who's this coming on? Shillington, by the looks, says Shillington's going to come enough. on. Who's he replacing? Uh, looks like Leroy Lars. Going off for a rest, uh, yeah. yes, well, uh, that's... Siva, coming. Siva coming off. Oh, they're going to change both blocks. Okay, yeah. fair enough. And uh, now they've made easy yards up here into Kumul Territory, into PNG Territory, and uh, Smith then on to Lockyer. Lockyer with the ball on to the end oh, of the toe. No. Why it goes into the deep corner, looking for Rongier to do some oh, magic. Oh, no. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Oh, dear. Oh, that was a brainy, an old-fashioned brainy, brainy on the try line. Yeah. And, uh, no, they're going upstairs to have a look, are they? Why would they want to go upstairs for us? What could possibly have gone wrong here? Might have been offside. Well, that, and there might have been... Oh, I'm not so sure thing, about the grounding. Well, I, like look, can I just say the grounding always worries me. Yeah. Uh, and okay. Here He's we go. Onside. They're all okay on side. Yeah. Now, this is a brilliant bit of work. Just sort of floats behind him. Oh, oh yeah. Knock yeah, on. Yeah, knock on. There okay. he goes. Over he comes. The grounding. Oh, uh, now, did Takiri get in the way and uh, impede? Was it a shepherd by Takiri stopping the... Uh, the Kumal from being able to stop or tackle the player. I, I think it might have been shepherding. Well, obstruction. No, certainly they, oh, they didn't try. see it that way. No. Uh, Tonga with the next try, so we're up to 20 points, mm. 20 to nil, and uh, a much easier kick for obviously uh, Cam Smith to come up. Yeah. Uh, and uh, now we've just played about 21 minutes, so we she's uh, on a, on the uh, pace of a point a minute. Point here. a minute, yeah. Roy, you know when you look at uh, you know this match. Obviously, once uh, Stanley Jenner gets them into the sheds at half time. Yeah. I think they'll be a different team, second half. Could there you there say, are certain things they've forgot. Yeah. Uh, you know, the could, ball, the role the ball plays. Could you say, in all honesty, it could be a game of two halves? Yes, I think it will be. Mm-hmm. And remember, there's a tremendous wind actually assisting the Kangaroos here. What would you put at it in points? Say a 40 point oh, win? Oh, the win's probably worth about two points. <laughs> two points. Isn't it? I mean, to be fair. And uh, look, oh, now Cam Smith's having a laugh. Now, I don't like thing. it when Australians start giggling and laughing like clowns as if it's a joke they're in. Well, this is rugby league. This is international rugby league. We're trying to persuade people that this is the path of the future. You can't stay serious for 80 minutes. Don't play the game. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. See, what's disappointing me here from an Australian perspective yeah. is so many tries have gone begging. They mm. butchered three or four, and they the kick's have. on its way, and it's missed again. Oh, missed so the score too. at the 21-22-minute uh, minute mark, or 23rd-minute mark, is 20 to nil Australia's way. This is Throw Em Wayhead, Reggae Rugby League at its finest, here on Triple M. Ah, uh, yes, uh, pictures of uh, Tonga on screen at the moment, fiddling around with the mouth guard, always tracking. This is a brilliant Now, play. look at this. Yeah, look, he just lost oh, sight of it, actually. He yeah, lost no. sight of it. It's as if the ball disappeared there for a little while. And there's the shepherding I was talking about. <laughs> Very hard to, hard to sort of make a case for shepherding. Obviously, the player didn't know where he was. No. Uh, and so, beautiful kickoff there. Oh, that is a cunning kickoff, isn't it? <laughs> it's almost a 10 metre kickoff. Yeah. Short kickoff. And uh, so oh. now it's all to do. Yeah. We've got uh, 20 minutes uh, till half time. Do you think the Kummels can get on the board? Well, we'd love to see the Kummels get on the board, yeah, actually. Yeah, to but get to get on the board, they've actually got to have the ball. Yeah, li- yeah. That's the problem with their thinking at the moment. They think they can score by tackling. Well. The, no, Can't it's a long way really. from it. You've got to have the ball out wide. Yeah. It goes Lottie Takiri with it. He's got a break on the outside. Can they get him? No, they can't oh, get him yet. Dear. Here comes the cover defence. Oh, oh no. he completely mossed him. Oh, good cover defence. Selfish the play end. there from Takiri, though, wasn't it? He it made, was I mean, there was a try him him. either side of him. Oh, that's what I mean. They butchered several chances already. Yeah. I love that knocking him over after the ball's on the other side of the field. But that's rugby league. Right, go rugby league. Forward, forward pass, pass and knocked if you on. Don't mind. Oh, they can't. If that's a try, once again. Oh. Forward pass, thank you very much. Prem got that right. Yeah, and I'd say deliberate forward pass, thank you. I think it should be a penalty to the Kummels. But, of course, it looks as if it's going the other way. Uh, yeah, offside. offside. They suggested the Kummels were offside. Oh. oh, fair go. I mean, this is making a mockery of this. It is a mockery. New Zealand referee. I mean, are you at all worried about the standard oh, of international I, referee? Yes, I am. And, and oh, not the, only the, the here trouble. comes oh, who's this lot is it with the ball. Thide, Thide, Thide going yeah. out for a try. Uh, trying to go over for a try there. Yeah. Uh, I thought they trying to barge oh, his yes, way no. over. It's but t- the Kummels aren't, you know, they're, they're, they're standing their ground. They sta- they're not at all intimidated by close to the line. This oh, he's Lewis. Lewis. Lewis getting close. He's about two metres away. Plenty of uh, Kummel bodies between him and the line. Back yeah. it comes, they're going to leave nothing out there tonight. These yeah. Kummels have got everything to play for here. Oh, oh now they've got the ball. Oh, and knocked on, I think. Kummel knock on, and it's oh, back with the Australians. So Hang on, they should have been... 
Come on, put the scrub down. What That'll is be a going try on to here? Morris. Are they ruling a try to Morris? Are they going to let it go? Are they going to let it go? I mean, it looked to me as if it went to the Kummels. Kummels dropped it, as is the uh, want at the moment. That seems to be the new Genet style. Whenever you've got the ball, drop the bloody thing. And I don't, I don't agree with that philosophy. I think it's wrong. Anyway, it looks like it's going to be a try to Morris. Let's have a look here. Oh, there now, it goes let's there. see. The ball gets toed to, to, to head by uh, Slater. Off Kummels. Off Kummels. And then ping pong. Yeah. And then out it goes, out to Tate, the bloke with the muscle neck. Touch by, I reckon, a Kummel six to go over the, yeah. for Morris. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. But the thing is not to get this hard. No, they can't get this hard. The fact that it's 24 nil is mm. neither here nor there. No, it's, that's it, right. That just goes, you it's not out. about points, is it? It's not. It's about pride. It's about pride and it's about being here. And, and, mm. and international rugby league at yes. the highest level. that's right. Uh, well, that's look, right. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, you have to say now, 20, <clears throat> they're still on... Uh, 24 nil. 24 nil, 25 minutes gone, uh, or thereabouts. Yeah. And uh, I'm just wondering, Roy, if you could see some interchange might help. Mm. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure whether. Uh, what would you inject uh, Richard Cambo into? I'd the get Cambo out stage. there, yeah, or maybe what, Tongap, and maybe Morabi. Well, I certainly get Morabi out there. I mean, no one hits harder than Morabi. Uh, you know, if you could get a couple of big hits from Morabi to yes. soften him up. I tell you what, Nixon <clears throat> Colo, I'd be tempted to say, say and Charlie Wabo. Would He's the uh, kick. And the kick uh, comes around the score, 26 nil uh, here at Parramatta Stadium. I tell you what, Marabi, he works in the hardware store yep. at Agmark, yep. and I tell you that he's the sort of uh, can I put it this way? Yep. He's the sort of uh, Stanley Gine actually looked like he wanted to come on himself there. Well, don't rule that out. I understand that he's prepared to go out and have a go. Should yeah, uh, you know, you know, obviously the situation that, get desperate enough. Yeah, and uh, so Marabi, Cooley, Tongap, yep. Yep. Hyja, and Cambo are all injured. So he'll yeah. be able to change and come on. Are we underway again? Yes, uh, we are yeah, underway again. Can... She's been run up by the Australian the Kangaroos. 26. Tate bringing it up. But look, can I just say how much I'm enjoying this, Roy? Oh, I am too. You know, sure, you're seeing, you know, it's not quite knee in the head, uh, no. you know, a couple of tackles around the ears, but that'll come. Yeah, it should that... come, yes, as discipline sort of falls away a little bit in the second half, perhaps. And ball security hopefully yeah. improves. That might have been Leroy Lars bringing it up now. And so we've got it again uh, back there. Cam Smith, obviously, dummy half out wide. It goes, and the Australians have the ball. It looks like Gallon with the ball at the moment. He's yeah. knocked over. Just, I think, inside Australia, a PNG territory. Yeah, hasn't Gallon <clears throat> held onto the ball well this afternoon? HG? He's incredible. That's often a part of his game. Conk kicks yeah, the ball. Conk. Now we're going to uh, see uh, some of this much vaunted Kummel attack coming up now. I think HG. Tongia with Here the ball. Now. He's done well. He's Tongia. turned around. He's got into the field of play. That's oh, very good. Hand, oh, hand, hand, hand. Thank you very much, oh, Lock. Yeah. Hang on. Ryan, get that real. And away comes the Kummels from the play, the ball. A lot of, uh, you know, the Australian... Well, the Australians are going for the Kummel head here at the moment, aren't they? They are. They're going to they're gonna give away a penalty if they keep that up because Reem won't stand for it in Ooh. the end. Uh, it yeah, looks like Colo's coming on, as replacing goodness. Monty. But that, that's a tremendous improvement. Monty's done well. I mean, his handling's letting him down a little bit, of course. But, uh, but And Pombo's well, he, coming on. He's, he's not alone there. No. Uh, and Gee, Pombo uh, could make a bit of a difference too, Aisha. Look, look at Pombo in training. Did he, was, how, did, how was his ball security? Right? Yeah, good ball security from Joseph Pombo. Yeah. Here go the Kummels now. They decide to go Tactical and kick. Tactical kick. And it's a very short, weird-looking kick. It is. But, oh, they got it back. <laughs> oh, brilliant work, Kummels. Surprised everyone. <laughs> now, hang on, that might oh, be that six was, tackles, yes. HG. <laughs> They've got it back, but it's a turnover. It's a turnover, oh, yeah. Oh, that's brilliant play, isn't it? It was. That, it was I, extraordinary play. No one was expecting it. I, I don't think the, the Kummels were expecting they it They certainly were. The ball came off the boot and sort of went forward in an odd sort of way. And he, he's, uh, he's, he's Morris, Morris going through. Slippery score. Morris. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what's oh, his what mo, oh, you <laughs> clown? Here he comes. Now we've got some entertainment ahead of us. What mo will do something stupid and bring the crowd to the feet. <laughs> Cam Smith there are picking it up and away. It comes now out to the card table side. Oh, Gallon with the ball. Gallon decides to go for a run. He's a big bloke. He's hard to put away, but the Kummels are up to the task. They've knocked him over, I think, on the 30-metre line. Well, I've oh. never seen anyone more. I've never seen Gallon this involved in the game. Oh, neither have I. That was a forward pass, too. Very standoff. Back. Now he's got back to uh, Lewis. Lewis. Is that Lewis with yeah. the ball in front of me there? Yeah. Well, it comes back to Lockyer. Lockyer, Lockyer he's put over. down again. Oh, tremendous. They've found Ooh, They Lockyer. all want to get on Lockyer, don't they? They all they know Everyone he's the danger man. a legend. Cam Smith. Cam Smith with a kick. Oh, Brilliant. beautiful Brilliant. handling. That is magnificent handling. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's not. 
tilled yeah, the ball good. a little bit there, Ashid. He oh. feels if he's let himself down, but he hasn't. He hasn't. He's, he only oh. let Papua New Guinea. Yeah. He's let the cocoa farmers, the pig farmers, and the yeah. gourd, the penis gourd, wear us down. But yeah. apart from that, he's done well. He's done well, yeah. But a very tricky ball to try and control, Ashid. Look at this tackle on Lockie. I mean, they all want to get involved. Who wouldn't want to tackle Darren Lockie? And so we've got a scrum set down uh, yeah. at the, about the 10 metre mark. Uh, the yeah. score, if you've uh, joined us, is 26 0 mm. in the 29th minute. So we're up to the. Oh, here oh, he what is. Oh, in the scrum. Oh, no. Oh, God, he looks good there, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Oh, he's ready. What's Sheen's oh, doing to no. Watmo? He's, he's, well, he's got a roving commission, can bob up anywhere, I, I can think he? Yes, he now they're slated with the ball. Slated How much genuine look slated, look Oh, great work there from, uh, let's they see. Tate crossed the ball, H.G. That Yuri, Yuri, he was cut in two. Yeah. Uh, and Tate, oh, Yuri. Oh, no, hang on. Oh, he's not going to rule against he's Yuri. He's not going to penalise the Kummels again, is he, for just aggressive play? Well, that was Yiri. Superb play, might I point out. I know they're going to call him out and try and explain to him where he went wrong. That'll take 40 minutes. Yeah. Don't mean to be unkind, but by the time you get a translator out there and pigeon yeah, and all that sort of Yeah, let's have a look now. What is wrong with that? Nothing wrong there at all. As nearly as I can tell. No, there's no, no, nobody did anything wrong. I think oh. it's, it's, oh, good, cobble feet, beautiful. Yeah, here it goes, back on the, tr- they're caught in the try line, they try and yeah. burrow their way through. Yeah. Uh, yep. Now they're going to start to set themselves. Oh, oh Kennedy pulling there from the Kummels. Very good. Up there goes one uh, one out. Then yep. They're a beautiful... Uh, they're hard to wrap up, though, these Kummels, aren't they? <laughs> they, they? They wriggle around a lot in the tackles, don't they? And so we they haven't made oh, any... Oh, no, no dummy here. half. That's an interesting move. <laughs> So they get it out one way now. They've got to, I yeah. think it might be Aiton with the ball now. Yeah, the fullback have got him on. He, oh, Tongi, he's, rather. He's, he's left his mark on the game, hasn't he? He certainly has. He's leaving nothing Tongi. out there. Mm. Uh, and, uh, oh, they do that sort of up and under jump, yeah. uh, which they like. Uh, they but do. they haven't made much room there on the fifth tackle. Now out wide it goes. It's hardly got to the wings. Well, they're running at Lockyer, I assume. Why wouldn't they? That's a great charge up there. Yeah. This is the final tackle in this play. Yeah, yeah. He's well, going to no, have to no, keep... No, Lockyer to oh, get up. Oh, no. He's trying, trying to pull, to pull the penalty. penalty. <laughs> That's brilliant work. <laughs> then he can place the referee. Here's the trouble. He's, he, I think they've got the... Oh, oh no, no. No time hand to hand kick. Hand over. Hand over, yeah, yeah. No, they just couldn't get it to the right person. That was a failure of Bad luck, Kummels. Aye. They looked good there for a while, though, didn't they? They, they held did. onto the ball for six tackles. Wonderful. And, and, and now here. Lewis with the ball. Lewis decides to run in time. Shapes up to uh, sell the dummy and does, yeah. and then he runs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, back he comes now. And <clears throat> let's see, we've got uh, Tonga in the, uh, with the ball now. He's knocked over on the 10-metre line by a couple yeah. of hefty kummels, including Loco. Yeah. Loco by name, Loco by nature. Up in the... Oh, yeah. Smith, up they come now. Just, oh, well, this might be Watmo. that clown. What, Mo? Yeah, what, Mo? He'll do something stupid here. Yeah. Don't worry, he's close to the Hang line. Hang on to the ball, what, Mo? He's trying to get a... Lo- He's trying to get into in himself. He's going to go and something. Oh, there goes to Hello. Cam Smith. Cam Smith out. Now look here, look here, standing wide here. There comes the runners off the wing. It looks Tate. like a oh, surrender, now, tackle. surrender tackle. Oh, Penalise it. Send him off. Send him off. You know, it's just it's just blind on the game. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> surrender tackle. Look here, decides to kick. Oh, hang on. Got a deep fuse. Oh, oh, yes, no, beautifully he's covered. Oh, goal line dropout. Yep. I tell you what, this is going to be the first time we see a drop kick from the Kummels HG. This I don't know who's going to take the drop I, look, kick. I'll be watching this with a lot of con- interest. So will I, a lot of interest. A lot of people will be leaning forward thinking, oh, you beauty, a Kummel drop kick. <laughs> because let's face it, I don't think anybody's seen a Kummel drop kick. No, not for a long it's time. It's not part of the game. Not for four years uh, or two years at least. And uh, so uh, here, here we, we go. go, as we watch on replay here, it's yeah. very close in here. Yeah, and a lot of bodies kick... in motion with the Kummels, aren't there? Yeah, I don't know why this person, this Kummel, decided that that was a good idea, but that's yeah. the, that's the Rego Rugby League. Yeah. Uh, there we go. A very good bloody uh, drop, drop kick. kick. Kicked yeah, it all of 20 metres. 40 metres, nearly, yeah. 20 metres, I think. Oh, hello, who's this steaming onto the ball? Uh, uh, that might be uh, Leroy, Leroy Lars. Yes, he's, uh, you know, no no stranger Kummel work. Cam Smith here, beautifully strapped knee. Uh, and then way it comes down. Watmo with the ball. Oh, he got it unloaded in the tackle. And way to lock here, lock here out wide to Cronk. Cronk now looking for a run. He's got Lewis. Lewis, he's got Lewis. Lewis, oh, Lewis lost Lewis the ball. The oh, hang yeah. on. Oh. Thank goodness I think that should be a penalty to the Kummels, actually. I think one of the Kummels was pushed away from the ball by Lockyer. Now, what's he give him scrum? It's going to be a knock-on. It's going to be a Kummel feed. Kummel feed, yes. They're going to come into their own here in, uh, yeah. in the uh, last... Yeah, no, sure. How much genuine hookers feel? <laughs> now, there are a lot, of them out, a lot of them out there, a lot of Australian genuine hookers <laughs> who'd like to be playing this game. Well, they would, uh, but even Looks Cam... Like Smith's in there. Yeah. yeah, well, they wouldn't risk Watmo too. Well, they had Watmo in there before. They did. And lost the scrum, naturally. And away it comes now. The Kummels aren't making much progress here. They've knocked over just a game of about a metre and a half. And uh, now uh, from Dommy Half, let's see who's that, the number five? Looks like he's coming to the yeah, Riong. Yes, Riong, yeah. Yes. Uh, Big raps on Riong. He's got a rating commission Hasn't had too. many opportunities. I mean, he did punch Lottie Takiri in the head. We
might be looking at yeah. this uh, uh, young kid. Oh, 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 Magnificent work. That didn't slow him up at all. No, he, he was, loved it. <laughs> he was building fear in the head. That's <laughs> he the just 15, kept going. is it? Yeah. Oh, hello, hello, Chip and Chase. And here we go. Oh, now. hello. Oh, look, they've never seen this oh, before. This beautiful. is like a rugby league. That's Kangaroos fantastic. at sixes and sevens. They didn't know what was going That's on there. That's Wabo. Wabo there in the 14. Um, Way it comes now back to Thide, Thide. Is it Thide with the ball? That might be Lottie Takiri. Well, he's coming off his wing. A roving yeah, as well. Oh, every, yeah. Everybody's playing everywhere. That's why Sheen's wanted him. <clears throat> <laughs> Yep. Right. Can do anything. Darius Boyd oh, wouldn't have done that. The ball. ball security okay, coming apart. They're going to hurt you from here, HG. They're just on the halfway line, but they've got five tackles to go. Sorry, six tackles six to tackles. go. Six tackles. That was a zero tackle. Okay, Sorry, Kummels, that... let's see what you got. Let's see what you can mount here. Come on, Kummels, line it up and have a go at them. And, uh, you know, don't be afraid to, what, chance your arm yes. or, you know, really just have a go. Have a crack. Believe in yourself, Kummels. This is Papua New Guinea Rugby League at its finest. Now they're on the 50. Uh, 50 yeah, that uh, might have been Michael Mark, HG, bringing up the ball. First time he's touched the ball. Look, good Michael. Mark. Oh, showing the ball. Oh, the beautiful work. Here it is. Right, oh, right, 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 close. Right. Sadly, Slade has got the ball Slade's down. What a one on one. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, oh, beautiful. Oh, oh, yes, oh, I tell you what, when you've got 20 Kummels in a tackle, it looks great, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. It leaves them a bit of space elsewhere. They're going in hard now, the Kummels. Oh, they they are. oh and there's that repeat hit around the head. <laughs> Just in case I didn't get you the first time, here it comes again, Wuska. That's your own oh, oh, yes. yes. Now they're getting in there. Yiri. They picked out tight. They picked out tight. Sam Ayub is standing up applauding Yiri. <laughs> oh, here he comes again. Here he look comes. At look at this. Play. Here he, he coming in. Oh, oh, look at that. Too fast for the cameras to see. <laughs> it's just a fantastic. This is. They're going to have to kick Australia. And uh, Paul Aiton dragging another player off who wants to go on with it. There's Lockie here kicking. He's made a terrific game. Can they get this ball, though? Where's Tongi or HG? I oh, mean, terrible he bounce. He's got over on the far side there. Here they come now. Oh, hello. Well, uh, this might be Mark with the ball again, actually. Second touch. He's, Second touch. He's a revelation, He Mark. is, isn't he? That's Once twice he the ball. Touch ball. Here they go now. They're out wider. They're seeking a path out there. It's, uh, let's see, the Rion with That's the ball. Rion, Rion, yeah. Man of the match so far. Yeah, Rion, oh, look, look at this at intent this. from the Kummels here. Look at this intent. Oh, it's fantastic. It's Kummel Rugby League. It's Reggae Rugby League. It's the national sport of Papua New Guinea. And it's alive here at yeah. Four Nations. Sadly, the score oh, is 20-6. Boys might be something oh, sorry, a little bit puffed out. out. Yes. And wide! They've got a chance here. Oh, no, should have gone down the Mark? line. Mor- yeah, Morris. Morris uh, defused the mark tilt there yeah. at the uh, at the uh, line. Uh, and uh, now we've got uh, four minutes to play in the half. Oh, he's just kicking he's the ball for no reason. What the bloody hell was that about? I'll tell you what, it shocked me. It shocked the kangaroos as well. Is a blood ploy? Oh, he had to do his shoelaces up. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. You know, when you want that little bit of time, you think, what can I do? I'll kick it out. <laughs> and they're a bit puffed. They are. He's they thinking of his colleagues. They're they a little bit. They're yeah. blowing a bit hard. Yeah. Well, I, I think they've livened this up no end. I think they've got a taste, Roy. They the have, second half they? could really come alive. They've stepped up a level. They've, they've increased the intensity. They were intimidated because they're playing against their heroes, their idols. I know. That's the trouble, isn't it? Do but once you punch them in the head a few times, you realise yeah. they're just human. They're just mortal. Oh, they're just weak as piss. Yeah. You know, a couple of hits in the head. I like the idea they get them down once and then they give them something to go on with once they're down. Yeah. As we see here, Here's that's Yuri. perfect. He lined that's him up. Beautiful. That's terrific. And come the on, elbow right got there. involved, everything involved. And here they are, Australians with the ball now, knocked over in the middle of the park here uh, as uh, Cam Smith plays it out wider. Looks it's like Leroy Lars. Lars again. Yeah, the bloke is playing God, the he's providing a handful for him, isn't he? <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> now, I love that pig rooting style that he's got there. Reminds yep. me of Three Knees Hancock for those who are familiar with State of Origin players of yesteryear. Uh, yes, it's a Luke Lewis, has she? He, he, he's played Lewis, well. Oh, they're going to have to play, don't we? Oh, oh no. Holding him down the tackle. Look, you know, he was wriggling out. around trying can to get off the look, mark. Look, when are they going to start penalising us kangaroos for, for walking off the mark? Can I ask, do you feel as though something's lost in translation here? Yes. The ref, obviously, is trying to call it Hild, but yes. that's not what pigeon for Hild is. No. Hild isn't pigeon for Hild. Australia no. starts to play the ball. No. We've got, uh, Hild, ten means, Hild means keep going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, whatever you're doing, keep going. 
Sorry, uh, Cam Smith there. Can they get another try, the Australians, before the end? Cronk goes for a bit of a run. Defused that gap, snuffed out by tremendous Kumal defence. Mm. And uh, uh, especially Colo, Nixon Colo. Colo. Yeah, Nixon Colo, the Taranaki pig farmer from yeah. Mount Hagen. He's got a lovely set of pigs, you know. Yes, Fantastic. I've seen them on YouTube. Oh, OK, yeah. yeah. You can do almost anything, those pigs. Yep. He has them as tackling practice. The Australians near the try line. Forward they pass, forward, the bloody Friday, pass. Friday's game, I'm Shelby Unloads. Oh, no. Oh, I butchered oh, that. Oh, no. Oh, play on. Keep going. Oh, yeah, play on, I would have called. Ooh. Oh, now he's going to rule forward pass now. Oh, oh it wasn't no, hang pass on. from the kangaroos. Which, knock, knock on, on yeah, but knock kangaroos. on. Kangaroo knock on? I think it'll be a Kummel feed, actually. Oh, right, Watmo was involved, because no surprises there when the ball's knocked on. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what may looks as though he's uh, I mean, trying to hide. You don't be Sherlock Holmes to find out who was wrong, <laughs> who was responsible there. Do you? Now you Do I what mo? Well, your first first pick, usual suspect. <laughs> what mo? Uh, and they pack the scrum here. Yeah, yeah. ladies, I hate hey, kangaroos. I've heard someone done something stupid. What mo? Come out here. <laughs> <laughs> He <laughs> couldn't have the ball. It's close to half time, and yeah. uh, it's, it's uh, just got exciting in these last few minutes. Pity we have to stop. Took them a while to adjust to conditions, the temperature, the breeze. Yeah, well, they're warming up now, aren't they? They're warming up. That's exactly right. It's like yeah. uh, being at home. Well, I think Mark, when he first got his touch of the ball, actually, that sort of lifted the whole team. It did. They wanted to get Mark involved, yeah. as we see now. The Kummels running the ball out from yep. there. Oh, beautiful pick up there. They've got that one-handed pick up from dummy half. They, they have. They, they, they've learnt that. They've seen that a lot on, uh, you know, training videos. And look at this. Why isn't that held? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, oh. Yes. Now he's going to penalise him for the play of the ball, I bet. Oh, no. Oh. Half time. Half time. Well, what an amazing first half. If I quickly sum it up uh, in this way, we had uh, Slater. Going first at about the six-minute point, uh, four 0 converted. Then we've got Tate, yeah. Tate in the fourteenth minute. Uh, yes, and uh, went uh, obviously again converted to. I think they uh, went to twelve nil. Yeah. yeah. Then the Cronk got in. That's right. Cronk got in about the seventeenth minute. Yeah. And then Tonga in the twenty-first minute. Yeah. Morris in the twenty-fifth minute, and uh, the score at half time. If I can do all the maths correctly, it's 26 nil. Mm-hmm. 26 nil. Roy, exactly your right. thoughts on this magnificent first half yeah. of rugby league in the Four Nations? Play? Well, Cornwall's going to be a little bit disappointed in their attack. HG, I think they can take a lot out of their defence. Uh, their one-on-one is generally good, and their their swarming, swamming defence and gang tackling is, of course, uh, best in the world. World's best practice when it comes to getting a lot of hands on a head. Uh, on the other hand, their attack, I think, is uh, has been found wanting. Mm-hmm. Uh, ball security. Stanley Genet will be telling him about the ball. You know what the what role the ball what it looks ha- like. Yeah, yeah, and get him all to hold it, and uh, probably give him a couple of examples of how to throw and catch. Uh, we'll be back for the second half uh, in a few minutes' time. The uh, halftime break will include a score update uh, from all round the grounds, including thoughts on where Weber is in this Korean Grand Prix. Back with more Four Nations after the break. Papua New Guinea Rugby League, here in the shop front of the world on Triple M. It's the King of Kokoda and Port Moresby's Mr. Rugby League. Live! Roy and HG, here on Triple M. Ah, yes, welcome back to Parramatta Stadium, where the Kummels are sadly trailing the Kangaroos 26 points to nil. Roy, you were down in the rooms with Stanley Jenner, the coach of the Kummels. Uh, what was his message? Uh, the message was, not surprised, so surprised me, actually, is not to forget the passion. Uh, keep the passion up, and uh, and uh, if you have any opportunity to do a little bit of damage, do it. Um, I think that will be... The, the, I think Kummels will be looking out to get a little bit of revenge in this second half. I don't think worried about the scoreboard anymore, actually. I think they're just looking at, say, private arguments and private confrontations. Um, he asked them uh, who'd like to punch Darren Lockyer, Everyone's hand went up. Who'd like to have a go at Watmo? Everyone stood up, not only put their hands up, they stood up with both hands in the air. And this is all good, HG. If you, if you do a go out there with a, with a bit of a plan to belt the bloke that's opposite you, uh, then a couple of points might come out of it. But as I say, they're not interested in points anymore. No. They're just interested in respect. Respect. Or Kummel physicality. Mm. Now, Roy, I noticed you sampled some of the, uh, the bevy down in the rooms. What did you get into it? Did you see any uh, Slaters, chocolate-covered Slaters, which are terrific? Uh, yeah. The Highland Delicacy? And, yes. You know, I saw you eat a couple of sheep eyes. I did. Honey drip sheep eyes. Yes. Nothing wrong, Nothing wrong with that. No. Delicious. Nothing wrong with that. And they brought a lot of the foods uh, down with them, uh, obviously, yep. as part of the... Uh, as the Kummels now run on Here to this deliriously come. happy crowd. Yep. Uh, well, of course, big testicles are very popular, HG, and very, very, very sought after. Mm-hmm. But they've got to be very, very fresh. 
Fresh. And do you find uh, them... Yeah, exactly. The ideal way to eat a pig's testicle is with the sound of a screaming pig in your ear hole at the same time. That's the best way. You know, I've often it. seen you eat them, uh, what I'd call, done in egg and bread crumbs. Oh, yes. Mm. Not bad, but... Uh, they can get a bit crunchy that way, can't they? The best thing is to have them, as they say, tartare. Tartare, yes. Minced. Uh, and so here he comes, uh, Darren Lockyer, leading the Australians out. Uh, some say this is the final time we'll see Lockyer in Sydney. Yeah, I heard that, that, HG, yes. Do you believe that, Roy, that this is the last time? Because... Oh, well, I'd like to think it's not true. I, I, as I said to Lockie when I bellowed at him a few minutes ago, I said, Lockie, you look as if you've got another, another 20 test matches in you. You know? And what did he say? Yeah, he said, yeah, you know, as he does, he, <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> he said something <laughs> like that. <laughs> uh, like, say, that again, say that again, Lucky. <laughs> now I've got 20 in me. You know what he's like. <laughs> and uh, so, look, I'll tell you what, the only surprise here would be to see uh, Stanley Jeunet run on himself. As we're about to get the second half underway, and in Korea, they're almost ready to go as well. Uh, okay. We'll try and keep Tommy an eye to kick off, HG. Now I love the, the winger who points <clears throat> where it should yeah. go. Yeah. As we see on screen, the closest person to the card table here yeah. at uh, Parramatta Stadium. And the crowd has stayed. That could be Mark, HG. Two touches in the first half. Remember the crowd, that. we're underway in the second half of Four Nations. Kibbles v Kangaroos. And Lockyer gets the ball back. And away it comes up there. Petro. Petro, big Petro. Charges up the middle. He's taken by a couple of lively tackling machines from the Highlands. And away goes Cam Smith now with the ball away. Yeah, he looks the... as if he's shaped to kick very early in that, AC. He didn't Miles. put off the Kummels. They still came at him. Mr. Pooh with the ball now. Yeah, Back and to it looks Cam like Smith. Johnson Queely is out there, AC, for the Kummels. Oh, that's good. Take with the ball now. Coming back inside here towards the cuts. Back towards the card. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's, tremendous. that's Luke Lewis, AC. They Sorry, lift Luke him up Lewis. by the date. Yeah, they, that's uh, always good to see. They found a bit of leverage where the gourd fits and <laughs> hey, it comes and in don't, don't, what oh, God, what, what, my, what, what, what my what my what my you know the strange want... looking very bunched are they you could throw a bloody handkerchief over the lot of them at the moment and there's the kick now uh, it looks like the Kummels read that well they and did got read a, it beautifully got a player this is one of their better players here coming up with the ball now I think this might be uh, who is it uh, Rion Re- yeah, Rion Rion, Rion who certainly left security. his mark on a lot of kangaroos in that first half. And there's Aiton at the uh, scrum, uh, at the play the ball, and uh, yeah. now one of the props gets involved, and the, gee, they take a lot to knock him they over. They do, I see. All the Kummels got their hands up. All of them want the ball. And all of them want, want to punch Watmo in the head. Yeah. Uh, oh, look at well, that. Oh, the ball the ball they're stylish, isn't it? They, they would have seen that on in the NRL. Yeah, those and, ball uh, skills are great, aren't they, when they show the ball one way, pass oh. the other way. I mean, just bodies in motion. Kummels Kummel, style. Kummels now with the ball as they keep running. This has been their best set of six all day, and yep. they've only played four of them. Yep. Ah, now uh, let's see what they can do in the last two. They're going to have to kick. Pull a penalty here, HG. It'd be fantastic. I tell you what. Oh, the, look at this runaround move. Yes, well, obviously, Genet's got into them and saying, don't be intimidated. Oh, they got the ball away. Reggae rugby league style. Look at that. That's, that's, that's the first jab of Reggae. And were the kangaroos confused? They didn't know what was going on. Sadly, there's going to be a handover, I think. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, does it go again? Yeah, it goes again, HG. Look at this, and up and under. Nobody expected that. <laughs> Not for the first tackle. Look at that. All the oh, calls are there. Here comes it. somebody through. They've got the ball back again. Oh, here, they watch it. Oh, here it comes. Oh, why is he wait, stop? Wait, why is he blowing up? Oh, oh, no. Not knock good. On. Knock, knock on. on. My ass. My ass. Uh, there was no knock on there. Look at Jenna. Furious. Furious. Livid. With a decision. Anyway, so I played okay. the ball. Oh, now, hang on. Someone's oh, well, hang on. Here. If there was knock on, why wasn't there a scrum? Or did I miss something? Somebody's oh, yeah, last, last tackle, tackle oh, turnover. Fair enough. That makes more sense. That's what I said. You know, they would sort of yeah, yeah, anyway. be that. Mate. We're up I to rugby league when it gets too technical. Twenty six nil. We're just uh, starting it. <laughs> Start of the second half. The way it comes what now. My, what, what a clown! Running back. Running Run back. backwards. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that's wonderful. There. That's what, what mode he's best going backwards. <laughs> and he's knocked on. And he knocked on. Yeah, hang on, hang on. Oh, He's... hang on. And suddenly the Kummels Kuml- are being penalised for Watmo stupidity. Golo there with the ball. And Watmo, uh, oh, no, Cam Smith with the ball. He's Cam going to have a kick. Ball, yeah. He's Let's see if sober he presence. Isn't he a sober, oh, sober presence? Sober on presence. Uh, yeah, and well, there's kick... nothing in this. Well, remember, remember, of course, Jareem, yeah. obviously in the pay of, uh, you know, forces. Yes. You know, News Limited slash yes. uh, NRL, ARL slash yeah. QRL slash Country Rugby League forces. Yes. To get a result here. Have we got to have a f- sort of free the Kummels, let the Kummels be Kummels movement, H? I think we do. <laughs> I think we do. And now the Australians have got the ball again and knocked over on the side edge. Uh, but it t- oh, Lord. Lord, There's who's somebody, that? Is that Watmo in... No, no, someone just as stupid. Well, someone could... just as stupid. 
No, no it is one. Oh, yes. And, he's and he's a lost master of madness. There he is. Look at that. <laughs> That's well done. And I think that was the lad, lad Carlo got him again. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, Am I, am I right in now thinking... Now, let's see what goes on here. Carlo, oh, lovely. Nothing. Just a, a see? slap around the face, wasn't it? Well, everybody put their hand up to hit Watmo in the head, and so yeah. somebody's finally oh, done this. No, a magnificent well, tackle. Oh, you wouldn't see better. That's copybook tackle. You know, obviously, Watmo ducked into it. Yes. Well, here's uh, where you get the paddle pop sticks up the nose, they shoot to straighten the bone. And, uh, in the look, old days, at least. I mean, it's too sanitised now, isn't it? I well, mean, it's far too sanitised. scare the kids. That we would, but, uh, you know, at least, at least what most going to stay there. Yeah. And I mean, be a lot of days when little kids are running around with paddle pop sticks up their nose saying, look at me, I've played rugby league. Don't see that anymore, do you? you don't, no, no, they're going to do something here with yeah, him. Yeah, they're putting paddle pop sticks oh, up no, there, they're going to pull she? something out. They've got, they're getting a chicken's liver out of him. What are they, they doing in there? Well, leave his nose alone. What are they putting up there? Oh, uh, well, you know... Jenna's involved, isn't he? Jenna's really right up, and he's very excited by this scoreline. Look, well, they, he's, he's, they've held the Australia out. Well, what's they've, this? Oh, oh, on report. report. My ass. Love tap. Oh, on report. Oh, oh. I hate seeing Kummels on report. Yeah. Never goes their way. <laughs> when the whole world's stacked against the Kummels at this stage. What it is? Well, away comes now. Petro Sivia said he looks as though he's going to hit the advantage line. Bum on then for a Constable minute. Craig style. We he haven't got, seen that got, for a while. He got halfway round and couldn't go all the way. Back at games with the moment. Oh, yeah. oh, yes, it's Thayday with the ball. Thayday. 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 They've kept Thayday quite, haven't they? Incredible. I haven't seen him all afternoon. What mo on the other hand, has been all half a minute. <laughs> <laughs> the other one. Out wide Here's goes Lockie. Lockie, Lockie, oh, Lockie look at that skill. Lewis. Ah. Look at Luke Lewis out there. He's had standing a good game. with the centres. He has had, had a good, a good game. game. You Luke don't Lewis. often count Luke Lewis. He's no. bludgeoning out there in the centres, but chiming in nicely. Yep. They can't no. handle him out wide. No, no. Wide goes, oh, knock on, surely. It's got to be a knock on, oh, surely. Look, I think they'll... Look. Yeah, yes, it is a knock on. Well called, HG. Well called. I thought for a moment there that the Sanity cheating New Zealand referee was going to give that an Australian try. You know, how much would this referee. That would have been the last draw. Look, look have this. a look here. We can replay there. No, oh, it's got to be oh, some sort of look, look, at that. Yeah, look at that. Now, how much would the referee be paid by the ARL, QRL, NRL to uh, fix this ma- match right up? You know, I mean. Well, ladies, isn't that a good, interesting point? And I'm waiting for Four Corners to do a story on this, HG. I mean, they're doing a story on you know, match, fi- match fixing in cricket, I think, yes. tomorrow night. Come on, now with the ball on Come there. Come on, look at that. God, coming out of their line. They do. It? Parker with the ball now. Parker gets up and yeah. plays. Uh, you know, again, and Wade yep. comes Everyone along. Everyone wants to get involved. Oh, they want to get involved. And that jinking run. I love that jinking run. And that's Yuri with that's the ball. That's Yuri again. Yuri, of course, the uh, he's yep. a pro league player. Plays in Sheffield at the moment. Had plenty of runs on the boards in Super League up there. Almost a player there attacking the line. Bum on. Might be Mark with the ball. Yeah. Uh, it is Mark with it the is ball. Mark, she, that's his third touch of the ball for the game. Exactly. Here's the kick coming on the fourth it's tackle. A very good kick too from the very professional kick. That's a very good kick. Uh, Slater with the ball now. Slater turns around. He decides to give it give to it Lottie. To Curie, yeah. oh, oh, what yeah. a mistake that was. Oh, yeah, here it goes. He should have hung on to it. He's, uh, oh, he's, oh, no. oh, yeah, they've still got a Tonga, Tonga the ball. Now. Tonga, he's uh, just knocked over there by a terrific bustling this defense. Swarming Kummel defense. Keely. Cooley knocked him over. Back it goes now to Petro. Petro charges up there, slapped down. Again involved is Cooley, and uh, yeah. you know they're forming up well now. They have. There's nearly I... six minutes now, actually. They've kept just... them scoreless. I was just trying to point that out, Roy. I was just going to say six minutes, is... and they haven't got to try on the board. Here's tight. No one's talking tight. Now they get it out to Morris. Morris, Morris steps inside. Surrender, Surrender tackle. Surrender tackle. Penalty. Tweet. Tweet. Penalty. <laughs> Don't mind. No, you never get a New Zealand referee blow that. I haven't seen it ever in my life. No. Back it goes now. Third eight, third eight. Ch- they've kept him quiet. No, incredibly quiet. They just grope around the back door, oh, hoping somebody will come they? out and you can, oh. you know, go on with it. Back oh, there's the kick. Oh, oh, beautiful kick, Smith. Sweat. Oh, that. Oh, now. I mean, that was on. a white flag kick, wasn't it? For the was. And there's somebody who's yeah. face painting. Isn't Australian face painting great? Best oh, in the world. Best in the world. Easy yardage here from the Kummels HGO. I've got the feeling that the in this arm wrestle. That the Kummels are starting to apply a little bit of pressure now. Well, I think they've got the Australian nervous. Yes. Uh, and uh, it'll take something from the referee to break this up to get some points on the board for Australia. But the Kummels are, are really standing up they in the are, second half. They? Four yeah. tackles gone now. We've played almost uh, seven minutes of the second yeah. half. No score. Game in two halves. Little we one just... out with their attack age. Oh, no, this is interesting. Look at this. They've come out to Line the car. side. They've bounced off one. I think that might be a good one. Oh, lucky. Half a break. And uh, I think that might be a handover, surely. One no, last tackle know. now. Now, now here comes now. the kick. Here's a kick. There's a lovely Very kick. Very professional. As he found a kick. No, kicked it straight oh. down the throat of Takiri. Takiri looking for a runner to go with on the far side. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, straight at Tonga. Tonga, you wasn't Tonga. really expecting oh. it. Lucky to keep it in the city, in, in, in the playing service. Slater now with the ball. Slater on Takiri. Takiri yeah. runs uh, away from the card table side, but he meets a reception committee of Kamals, including, looks to be Cooley, who's doing yeah. a lot of work. He's yeah, going Cooley's good. 
getting through a ton of work in the second half. Yeah, what, and, Mo? Oh, <laughs> Lockie with the ball now. Lockie, Lockie. Oh, it's all it's all one out here. I mean, Simi Yasuga, Cam Smith with the ball. Cam Smith going. No, he's oh, oh, dropping off the tackle. on Cam Smith, and I don't know why. They tackles. That's better. That's better. Put the Take a bit of the sting out. He, uh, Cronk yelling instructions in pigeon, putting the other uh, balls off. Going the blind side. Forward. Oh, they put you to try Australia there. They just threw the ball out. They didn't know what to do. No imagination attack. No flair. And now Stanley Jenna is ringing the changes on the sideline. Yep. More changes to come. Roy, it's been a fascinating well, second half. It's been half. a great second half for the, for the Cummels. Eight, eight minutes. minutes with no score. Yep, yep. Eight Perfect. minutes with no score. And we've seen the, the Cummels very confident, moving the ball very, very nicely. Uh, kicking on the fifth tackle. The ball security has been good and their defence very tight. And an update from Korea. Red flag. Uh, conditions are too dangerous. Four laps gone. No changes to the order, the initial oh, okay. order. So, uh, obviously, Vettel's still in front. Uh, <laughs> our boy, Mark, uh, in P. Yep. Uh, away comes now from the scrum. After the, uh, yeah, you know, good the scrum the win there to the Cummels. And now they're starting to find a bit of space, would you say, Roy? Mm, yeah. Just it looks like the, the kangaroos are tiring a little bit, HG. Well, eventually when you do get hit around the head as often as they have, uh, yes. I didn't like that tackle at all there. No, nor did I. See Very high the from the Australians. I don't but know why they're doing Very this. disappointing there. Poor coach. All running at Lockyer. They're really keen to run at Lockyer. And yeah. we've had three dead tackles in this set of six. Their ball security in the second it's half been has been superb. Fantastic, isn't it? Superb. Uh, now oh, look both. at this. Barging run there. A bar- is that, that is magnificent. Is that Yuri? I'm pretty sure that's Yuri. And they're queuing up for work now, the Cummels. Here they come. Sadly, oh. Oh. Oh, hell. I mean, yeah. You don't expect your uh, number one ball handler to drop the ball cold like that, do you, no. I mean, it doesn't do your team good at all. But then again, then again, I don't know. They're, they're at their best when adversity is at, is at its strongest. These Cummels, aren't they? Look at that. He just took Whee. his eye off the ball. Yeah, he'd be it's disappointed with it. No, so, I mean, he's let down his family and the, the nation. Yeah, the coconuts. Yeah, uh, and uh, you know, obviously, tight with the ball there. Oh, they could run tight out here. Oh, look at this! They got the ball! Come on, come on! I got the ball back! They really are. That's fantastic! Brilliant play by the Cummels! Brilliant play by the Cummels! They mugged the Australians completely. Cummels on attack! Cummels on attack! Anything can happen here. Look at this! Get away from one! Oh, yes, now they've started to lift the effort, and he's trying to do this that pick rooting style. Fourth, back fourth, fourth oh, they're running the for dummy half now. They've got the ball away. Touch Sanders got the fire, but they've got it back. They've held Tackle it up. Tackle count should start again. Yes, well done, Roy. Well called. Jerry with the ball. Oh, there it comes now. They've got a chance here. First time we've seen an extended period in in uh, Australian territory for the whole game. Yes, now look at this. Play trampling, the ball. All, trampling all over the Australians. Oh, that lovely pick-up. That smoothie silk pick-up. I can look at that all day long. I mean, that's the Matt Preston of pick-ups, isn't it? That's it. Isn't it? You're absolutely right. Let's go. Come and on. They've got, a, they've got a penalty. Yes. Offside. They, what? What? No. No. What no. a clown. Surprise is there. What mo and beautifully refereed. I take it all back. Brilliant refereeing there yep. from the and New Zealand. And they found touch with their kick actually very professionally. And the Kummels find themselves for the first time Inside. nine meters away from glory. Come on, Kummels. Let's go, come on. Come on, Kummels. Put it in. And everybody would be standing and cheering in Papua New Guinea, taking these magnificent pictures from Parramatta Stadium. Here they go. They're inside the three metres. They've got oh, tackle of plenty. Ford pass, I think, uh, actually. Ford pass. I mean, these technical bloody things. Who cares? It's very... Who cares? Very, the Kummels were attacking. Very, very technical. I mean, this game's been ruined by... Nitpicking. 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 Carping. Yes. Look at this. Look at this. There's nothing. That, that I mean, from my own point of view, look at the pictures. I mean, we're yeah. watching on a monitor here and see it. From our point of view, it's a three-quarter view. Yes. <laughs> You're right. It. There was nothing wrong with that puzzle. It was just beautiful attacking Kumble Rugby League. I mean, cut the blokes a little bit of slack if you wouldn't mind. And uh, now we see more changes on the sideline. Sheens is obviously worried. Well, Sheens would be panicking. I mean, we've gone for 11 minutes, 30 seconds without an Australian uh, oh, no, point on the board. It's an absolute triumph. This is historic. Yep. And the tap- couples have been within nine metres. Just oh, nine no. metres. And here's uh, Petro with the ball. He's charging it up. They're still there. They're getting them up off the uh, horizontal there. Yep. I think that might have been oh, helping out there yeah, uh, from, obviously, the Garoka end of the yeah, eye. Uh, this is what Look for something stupid. Oh, yes, there it is. Look at that. Stupid. Completely stupid. No surprises. What Mo involved. Cam Smith and away it goes. I can't quite see. Is that, is that uh, Poo Boy? That's the Poo Boy, yes. yes. Poo Boy's back out there. Poo Boy gets up and plays the ball. off the mark. Why is that a penalty? I know. Here comes the kick now. And Cronk, it's not Cronk pretty ordinary kick. kick from Cronk. Oh, I mean, who's he kicked it to? He's kicked it he's straight down straight the throat to, of... Straight to Tommy. Yes, he, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy has got, got some speed, this boy, isn't he? Toe. Look, he goes Look at right Tommy go. And oh, he's still going. Shoulder charge there, knocked over by Australian. Probably what Mo involved there. That's his go. 
And uh, now packs it. Now they've got a chance. They're opening them up. They're they are, really aren't they? working hard. And showing the ball and showing all these magnificent rugby league skills. Oh, it might have been the poo boy who knocked him over. It was the poo boy? Yeah, poo boy. Okay. But at least they've still got the ball. Yes, and they st- now it's gone 12 minutes. 12 minutes. Almost 13 minutes without yeah. an Australian point. That's I right. mean, the Australians will be devastated oh, look at this. by this. Look and at they're this. moving it wide. Second man. They're moving it wide. They're yes. starting to spread the ball. They're getting their wings involved. We've done bugger all, didn't you say, Mark? I'd only touched it once in the whole eve afternoon. No, he's, he's now- got to pull that up as a uh, as a knock on. Well, that is ridiculous. The bloke put it on the ground. Sure, he might have bumped it around a little bit, look a little bit bobbly, but he got he got his foot to it and it went backwards. I mean, these stupid technical little things. Exactly. That Griffin penalised. Let's have a look yeah. here. Oh, now, would you call yeah. that a knock on, HG? Not really. I mean, <sighs> you know, look. Can I just say, if yeah. you want to tweet, you want to be on television. Mm-hmm. The only way to get on television is tweeting. Yeah, that's you know, right. Do you know what I mean? Well, I'm telling you, this New Zealander should be in a bloody cage with a parrot suit on. The amount of bloody tweeting that's going on. And it's getting up my wick. Yeah, fair enough. Australians with the ball. They've got a chance now. Out it goes to uh, well, they Luke Lewis. Score here, Lewis has they got the ball. Score. They knocked him over. That's great defence there from the Cummels. They're six and sevens now. Now it's the difficulty for the Cummels. They can see a line here. Why it comes to Cronk. Cronk shows the ball. On to Lockyer. Lockyer goes wide looking for Slater. Slater passes it over. Then Morris. Morris tried to get him bombing. My terrific Cummel defence. Was... Unbelievably stoic on the line of defence there. It comes back to Slater. Slater on to Lockyer. Lockyer here now, looking for a run. He's found Big Petro. Petro. Big Petro. They'll have trouble putting Petro away. Uh, for God's sake, don't they give it to him Watmo. They don't him give up. it to Watmo. That'd be the worst thing you could do right now. On to Cam Smith. Cam Smith goes the other way, away from the card table. They've held, held him, him over up. the line. Yes, he's held oh, no, he's got it down. He's got it down. You'd have to give that as a try. Oh, there they come. Now the damn wall's broken. Oh, oh really? But I tell you what, 12 and a half minutes, H3, didn't they? 15, 15 minutes. 15 minutes they went. So that was uh, Smith. Yes, yeah, in the 55th he minute. He didn't deserve it. They didn't deserve it. They just had a moment of lapse there. Yeah. So it's 30 to nil. Yeah. Well, they got so excited by their attack, HG, that defence was all of a sudden strange again. I know. It just seems strange. Whereas in the first half, attack seemed strange. <laughs> and defence was familiar. Well, I, yeah. look, I, can I just say... It's hard juggling those two things, though, isn't it, sometimes? It, <laughs> You know, you've got what? attack in mind and then suddenly defence looms up. Can you've I say that's the art of the attack? game? Yeah, I know. You know, your great, know, your great know. teams tend to be able to marry those two things together. Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, look, can I just say how proud I am in the second half of yes. that this is the first points? Yeah. But, you know, for the 15 history, minutes. history of Kumuls mm. and... That 15 you know, minutes history of stoic defence from the Kumul. You know, I saw that will be the stuff of legend. It will in the Highlands. Mm-hmm. They'll say, "Remember the first 15 minutes, Four yes. Nations, 2010." 15 People minutes. Just we tired. hold them. We hold them. I know. We hold them 15. In. We hold them 15. Throw, throw them away, head. Yeah. We hold them 15. Yeah. You know, it's a magnificent story, it is. and a story will grow. It will grow. The 15 minutes will become 18. Yes. And then it'll become 20, 22, yeah. 25, That's 27, right. 28. And then it'll, then it'll become we held them for 15 years. <laughs> Cam Smith with a kick from the just in front of the card table here. He hasn't been very good this side, has no, he? Smith? No, he's, 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 he's been found wanting. The conditions yeah. aren't great, though, for kicking. Yeah. Uh, the kick, not a bad kick, and it's going to go... Oh, oh, no, he's sick. Yeah, no, I think that's gone through. I reckon that hit the top of the... It did hit the stick. Yeah, but it went through on the right side. Yeah. Uh, so, sadly, the score now is 32-0 in the 56th minute. Yeah. Um, but there's more rugby league to come, HG. Well, there's a lot more rugby league. You know, it's not over yet. No. You know... And, <laughs> You know, well, I suppose, you know, I suppose... And again, Takiri was involved. You know, involved. he didn't have to be there. Mm-hmm. Getting in the way, stopping some of the defenders. Look at Tate. Yeah. He's been in the game of rugby league, hasn't he, Tate? He has. He, that lovely spit that he gave there. Oh, oh, oh he's trouble. Oh, did that go out he's the He's trouble. Oh, it did. Oh, I thought it bounced. It was a cunning kick-off, but it went out on the full. They were trying to do something different, yes. and they did do something different. Yeah. Something that, though, though, you don't see that often. Penalty to the Australians, by the looks. Look at this. Oh, oh. oh. God, it's a game of millimetres sometimes. It is, isn't it? Uh, no, oh. oh. Okay, so the Kummel's going to be under the pump again in their own 20 metres. Well, through a stupid mistake. In their red zone. Trying a short kick-off. Never works, does Never it? Never works. No, I've never seen it. <clears throat> And, uh, he okay, like, who's that out there now? That looks like someone new, actually. Shillington. Shillington. Shillington's out there. Yeah, okay. sure, he's terrific. a poo boy. He's poo boy with the ball. Yeah. Uh, he'll be doing a demonstration in the car park afterwards if somebody just find a word. Okay. Uh, back he comes down. That's how they do it. <laughs> that's how right. to do it. Now, oh, this look is at Gidley. this. Gidley, I think, the 17s yes, out Gidley's there. Yes, Gidley's out there. She's uh, had a little bit of spark to the Australian attack. Yeah, a bit of a touch Here's up Lock, there. Here's Lockyer involved. Yep. And uh, now, obviously, back to the one you called earlier. Shillington. Shillington. Yep. Uh, so the uh, Australians have another chance. They've got that clown, what, no off. 
Yeah, I think they have. Oh, what a pity. Yeah. I love it when Watmo's out there. Well, I, I'm not completely convinced by that, but I suspect they have. I'll look along the bench when I get a chance. Yeah. Well, uh, let's uh, start calling Shillington Watmo anyway. There's a good Why kick there. Oh, yes, a beautiful. Oh, well done, Cornwallis. Defused that. Oh, gee, and who, he got the ball away from Billy Slater. Slater, yeah. He looks a bit hurt. Yeah, that was... Uh, Might have just had his shoulder in that, uh, in that movement, Slater. Still, that won't hold him up. Look, can I just say what a terrific triumph this is for uh, Papua New Guinea rugby. Look, look yeah. at this. It's yeah. got all the skills. Something seen in the NRL. Yeah. There it is. Fantastic Beautiful. defense. And, and uh, just great work there. Yeah. Uh, who's that uh, probably? Uh, was that Yuri doing no, that? I think it was Yuri HG. Yeah, Yuri was involved. And and hasn't Yuri done a lot today? Well, I mean, he's written his name in history, hasn't he? Yuri? He has. And uh, look, uh, you know, this, uh, you know, you think of your great battles because yeah. that's what we're looking at here. Yeah. Uh, overwhelming odds. Yeah. You know, uh, as we see the kickoff restart, yeah, forty-five meter uh, drop kick. And remember that. The, the, here's, the, here's, uh, here's the new Watmo bringing the ball up. <laughs> HG. God, he looks stupid, doesn't he? I mean, you can change the bloke's jumper, it doesn't change the bloke, does it? <laughs> That one goes to Pooh Boy. Pooh Boy with the ball. And remember that there's eight minutes been played in yep. the second half. Sorry, yep. 18 minutes played in the second half. The Australians yep. have only scored, scored one try. Yep. Imagine that. If we were here, if you said to me at the start of the half, here, pass, come, ball, here, pass. here comes Tate. Tate. No, not Tate. What That's Watmo. What he is something. out there. Yeah. I knew there was something stupid about this team. Oh, look at look here. Oh, look ah, well, he's joined Kenny Irvine as the... As the uh, score of most tries at international level for the Kangaroos. Is that right? Goes ahead of him. I think he might be the... The most. Score. Most. Would they know that, Roy, or should we shout out, Hey, Lockie! You've got the record! And look at his ear. Yeah. That's what I love, an I ear love like that. that. Too, yeah. As we see... A, now, uh, that was a forward pass for mine to yeah, Watmo. Well, and Watmo should have stopped. It was Watmo's fault, too. If, if, can I just say, mm. also, Watmo, as we watch the try and replay, yeah. and Johnny on the spot there, yeah. Ken Irvine, now... Uh, Yep. Can I just say, if Watmo had any sporting bone in his body, he would have stopped and said, ref, forward yeah. pass. Forward pass. He yeah. would have tweeted himself. I was offside. Yeah. I was deliberately offside. Give him a penalty. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, that's what Watmo should have said. But are you going to get any common sense from Watmo? I don't think so. Now, he played 60 minutes and the score is now 36. And they've only been able to add 10 yes. in the second half. With two I mean, maybe it's a to come. Yeah. Well, t- yeah, I'm not worried about that. I'll wait and see with the kick. Yeah. Well, the triumph of Kumul, you know... Papua New Guinea Rugby League is writ large here, yes. holding the greatest team in the world, the greatest yeah. team ever assembled yeah. anywhere on the planet, yep. to uh, 10 points in the second half. Yeah. It's tremendous. Look at that 34. test drive, look at that 34. Oh, it's just Some such an exciting that game. Been, that, 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 that's the Everest. You know, Kenny Irvine, what a great winger he was. Kenny Irvine, right. God Almighty. There's the kick. It's 38-0. Yeah. It's the King of Kokoda and Port Mosby's Mr. Rugby League. <laughs> Roy. And HG here on Triple M. And so yeah, we see we this kicking the ball yeah. alive here, and Lockie goes Lockie over goes very here. soft defence there. All the defence was uh, consumed on the. Uh, you know, I mean, a remarkable over. record. I mean, when you look at Kenny Irvine, HG, I mean, a great winger. I mean, Kenny Irvine scored 33 tries at international level, but that was only in one match. I mean, I mean here's Lockie. He's played, what, the best part of 50? 50, I'd say. And yeah. we're underway again with the ball. That's a better kickoff. I don't know why that went that short rubbish. The game that try that hurt you off a short kickoff. Oh, yeah. that's oh, better. That's Pooh Boy put on his <clears throat> back door. The uh, way it comes now. Uh, as what? Get... Oh, 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 oh. He almost did something oh, stupid, but he didn't. And uh, now they're charging up again, and plenty of players involved in this little passage with uh, the number 17, Gidley, I think, with the ball yeah, now. Gidley. Giddley plays it back Gidley. to Cam Smith. Cam Smith goes away Here's from the Watmo again. Expect the, some madness to erupt. Well, you know, well it almost be... did. Mm. I mean, he was trying. <laughs> he, he was trying to, well, I won't say he was trying. He just had a brain explosion. Yeah. Didn't know where he was. Uh, and, uh, Is this Thai Day? Thai Day. God, they've kept God, him quiet. they kept him quiet? Unbelievably quiet. I mean, Thai Day's been, I mean, that was just, what, a 40-metre run, but that's yeah. about the only... Thing he's done all afternoon. Yes. Here, they go, here they go again, and away it comes now. It looks like everybody's queuing up. That's a great tackle That's there. That's beautiful tackle there. That's magnificent cover defence. Uh, and away it comes to Kronk. Kronk oh. decides to kick. He's got the ball up in the air. Plenty of players out here to defuse it, though. Oh, oh yes. Beautiful. Morris pushed out on the full, and he might have been in the air when he caught the ball, and, and he's it got might a be a penalty to Australia here, I assume, because yes. theoretically you've got to wait till they touch the ground. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't agree with that. Can I just those say... technical things again. Can I just say, I suspect he was out. Of course he was out. You know, and... The, and what's the bloke's out? What's, I mean, you can do what you like to him. Exactly, you? exactly. Yeah. Look, here he is. He's he genuinely going for the ball. Yeah. yeah well, there's there. nothing wrong with that. I, I think he was out. Where he landed was out. Oh... <sighs> No. Lord, they've ruined this match. They have ruined the this match. It was so good until the referees turned yeah. up. Yep. And wait comes now. Uh, the Australians have another chance to post more points here. It's uh, Big Dave Shillington. Yeah. 
the uh, Cole Farmer from, uh, you know, obviously uh, Big Dave Taylor country. Uh, and away it comes now. I'm oh, away from Cape Dave Cronk. Uh, where's oh, Takiri in behind the stop from oh, here? No, they stopped him well. They did stop him beautifully. The uh, bloke picked him up and held him as away. Comes back a little bit Cronk. deeper now, trying to get a bit of a run on here. And the 13 this is Gallon. 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 Gallon held up. Great tackle there. Great defence. They're yep. using up a lot of energy in the defence, though. Gallon with the ball. Play the ball. Away to Cam Smith. Cam Smith oh, goes to Cronk. Come back. Cronk. Oh, Takiri. Oh, what a clown. Surely that's a knock on, though. No, it went back, he did go there. backwards. I mean, had I been blowing the whistle, I'd have called it a knock on. Well, uh, why not? Yeah, well, okay. Uh, look, I just think, uh, you know, it was it had to be a knock on. Anyway, yeah. back to the game. Yeah, and, Thine, uh, God, I'm not, he's been kept quiet. And I've got yeah. a crowd statistic of yeah. 11,300. I don't believe that for a minute. I think there's 44,000. You mean 11,300, exactly. That's better. Up it goes again. Here's the trouble. It's going to get confused. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Butchered by the Australians. 113,000. 130,308. It's just a hell of a crowd. It is a hell of a crowd. And haven't they made some noise? They've loved this match of rugby league. Yeah, yeah. 38 nil. There's Ward Moashi. Got him on easy. Stupid sitting down, doesn't he? Blake can't help it, I suppose. But Cobbles, Cobbles on the side. Oh, almost a knock on there, but he recovered well. Yeah. Back it comes now. Oh, look, they take three or four out. Now they should have some space here. Yeah, we've not seen that quick play the ball from the no. Cobbles that we naturally expect with their exuberant style. <laughs> <laughs> and, and now they're sort of standing around, not knowing even when they get the ball that they should, which, which way, way they should forward go. is. Yeah, yeah. That's right. They've lost. They've lost their compass. They've a radar shot. And uh, no away it comes now. Now they're doing a bit better. When they come out on this wing, the card table. Well, he's lost oh, the ball in the table. No, don't. I hope no one saw that. Oh, no, he's kept on it. Uh, well done. Oh, oh no, he has. Oh, come oh, on. Nothing in it. Nitpicking. This technical bloody bullshit. They go on with. Is Jedi getting involved? He's up. Look, oh. watch this short. Technically, it's it correct. Torn well, out, out of his hand. hand. What about a strip? Three men in the tackle. One Kumal. You know, I never thought I'd stri- say this, but, you know, the Australian cheating has just been... Oh, it's writ large. It's writ large. It's beyond belief. Beyond belief. You know, you expect it to be a fair game. What might put his hands up and said forward pass? Yeah, that's the sort of sportsmanship I... Yeah. This is the Australian cricket team, the equivalent of the Australian cricket team in India. Yeah. Fact. Well, I, like, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame the Kumals if they just gave up. They just said, they got oh, the ball back. They're not giving up, Roy. There might only be 16 more minutes to go if I've got the temperature right, if I've got that number right. But they're not giving up. They're playing this out. They're leaving everything out here. Sadly, yeah. the play the balls are so slow. So slow, play. yes. Australians get... Oh. Well, why aren't the referees p- p- protecting our Kumals they, in these play the ball areas? Well, he's New Zealand, of course. That's why he's not... Oh, the show the they're ball. showing the ball. I love that. Oh, and he's lost the ball. Thide. God, haven't they kept oh. Thide quite? They had to give him the ball. No, oh, Thide's lost it. One on one strip. Oh, this is beautiful. That's okay. Now, why, why, hang on. Oh, oh what? Hey, hey, hey. A Kummel gets the ball back, so what happens? Tweet! Parrot boy decides, oh, well, oh, no, we can't have any advantage to the Kummels. Well, I mean, it just makes me sick. He's trying to curry favour with, with the Australian Rugby League. It is. Watch this. That's not a knock on as near as I'm telling went behind him. Yeah. Came out of his back door. Yes. Well, Gidley, look at Gidley. I mean, what's happened there? I don't know. He's met a Kummel, that's what's happened. (laughs) That's what happens when you meet the Kummels. You come off party of red. Usually it's a bit of your head. Sadly, this bloke here attacked uh, an Australian with his head. No surprise there. No. But he's got a head still there and he's hardly hurt at all. Whereas poor old, oh no, he's hurt. Yeah. He's got a bit of claret. Yeah. Uh, and they'll have to touch him up too. Yeah, he looks like he's got a few stitches in his cheek there, HG. But, of course, this will be a, a badge of honour that oh, he indeed, wears yeah, when he goes yeah. home. Yes. And 38 nil, uh, yeah. Roy, when we started today, you know, yeah. obviously a couple of hours ago, did you th- any, think in any way that it would end up so close? No, I didn't, HG. You know, as I said to you privately before we came on air, if, uh, they, can, if they can keep the Australians to under 200, uh, I'd be very happy. And it looks like they're, they're going to do that with some degree of comfort, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> and the Kummels now with the ball deep in their territory. They try to run it out. Oh, now, here. Yes. Okay, they should have some space there because so many players are in the tackle, but they're all yeah, standing around they're all as standing well. standing around in a bunch. They're talking see, about yeah. pig markets, cocoa, the price, et cetera. You know, yeah, it looks like Gallon went in with a punch there too. Well, they've just Missed up, by the referee, naturally up, enough. Up the ante here a bit as uh, the uh, Kummels run the ball back. And, oh, I love that two and three of Australians in there. Yeah. Uh, Wait comes like now. Leroy Lars involved. Oh! oh! Oh, magnificent!
magnificent. The Sad- dummy thrown from Sadly- dummy half. Sadly, the dummy went too quick. Yeah. Got to wait Fooled everyone. Right, including himself. There's the kick. Has the kick done anything? Oh, no. Oh, it's all oh, it's right. not That's a bad nice. kick. Yeah. He obviously wants to tie up his shoelaces. Yeah. And now he ambles up. He gets it back to Morris. 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 Oh, beautiful work there from uh, the Kumul defence. Yeah. In particular, the number five, Rion. Yeah. Uh, yeah, now, looks like Gallon running Gallen the ball up, the AG. Gallon's been very involved, hasn't he? Has, he has. He's had a good game, Gallon. I mean, you game. know there's something wrong with the Kangaroos when Gallon is the playmaker. <laughs> uh, it looks like the Kummel defence is starting to tire a bit, HG. Yeah, Easy yards to be found now for these uh, cheating Kangaroos. With, oh, oh, oh on. Just threw the ball forward. Should, oh, should be penalised for being stupid. Hand over there should be sent off. Uh, not sent off for being yes. stupid. Thank yes. you. Yes. Now, uh, they've got a chance to maybe make... Um, wouldn't it be great to see him burst through here and score? I mean, well, we've that got would be unbelievable, minutes, wouldn't it? 13 minutes. And, uh, yeah. uh, and now going wider there. Oh, more pl- showing the ball. Out. He comes Ooh, inside. He's there. Uh, Full bit hard. here. Thide wraps him up. Hasn't, haven't they kept Thide quiet? Yeah, very quiet. Now it's coming towards the card table side. Uh, they get into Lockyer territory, and this is uh, Griffin with the ball. Yeah. He's knocked over by quite Griffin's a Griffin's been quite good, hasn't he? Well, he has. Almost professional. Stylish. Uh, yeah. And uh, for an amateur, he's almost professional. Here's the bloke with the white boots. Yes. He's got it up to, I think, the 40-metre line. Yes, they've done well, haven't they? Yes, and uh, now they can get it into the half. Here they come into the half. Yes, yeah. they're into the half. They're, they're making uh, a lot of uh, easy yardage out of dummy half, HG, yeah. these Kamals, aren't they? Now, let's see what their tactical kick is. Oh, yes, just a chip over the top. Oh, oh yes. yeah, but they haven't got the chase quite no. worked out. They need to get the chase up oh, further. Here's uh, Slater. From Slater. They've caught oh, Slater, though. Yeah, oh, yeah, ragdolled him. Yes, that's oh, yes, very take good. Oh, yes, take that, Billy Slater. That's very good. Of yeah. course, uh, they didn't quite have the chase worked out. Maybe they didn't know the kick was going to No, be. they probably didn't. Fifth and tackle, Morris. Who'd kick, I mean. Is this Morris with the ball? Mm. Uh, yeah, well, it might have been Morris with the ball, actually, yes. And, and this is Luke Lewis, I think. I think Luke Lewis has been the best player. He has been, hasn't he? On either side. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mike goes to Gidley with a headgear on. Uh, he's now Leroy Lars. Now he's, he's back on there. He's a tricky customer. And yeah. they're coming late to get him. Oh, he's, he's lost, the, lost ball. the ball. Knock on. Thank you very much. As Scrum set really... down. Come on, fade. Let's go. Come on. What's Thank the cry you. again, Roy? Let's go. Come on. <laughs> now, career update. Yes. If the rain doesn't stop very soon, they'll call the race off. Oh, I don't and Weber would that. stay. 14 points ahead. Correct. Thank you. Boot barbecues. Here we come. <laughs> And, uh, look, I, I know the conditions are a bit inclement, but there is a meeting of the Mark Webber Boot oh, Barbecue that chapter up. Oh, that's uh, what I suppose, yeah. Yeah, you'll have to get inside that. Uh, oh, unsavoury to think what he's doing in there, and that, with his penis gored on, allowing for the expansion and contraction. That's a natural habit flow, as Roy points out, of a game of rugby league. <laughs> Then now, Cools, here's a chance. Cools Cools. are in control here, actually, yes, aren't they? they? Somehow this game's turned around. They've found a way in the back end of both halves yeah. to exert some authority. They have. They've got 11 minutes to go. They're coming home and they've got wind in their sails, actually. There's Cools. Let's see what they and can that, put that on. Silky smooth pick up. Silky smooth pick up. It's, uh, it's one of the most delightful pick ups in world rugby league. I think it's the best pick up mm-hmm. at dummy half in rugby league at the here moment. Here they come Cools. now. Cools, they've got a couple of tackles to do something here. Yeah, come, come on, Cools. Let's go, Cools. Here they come now. They don't want to get too close to the sideline. They've got oh, the ball no, back. Oh, no, no. Knocked on, I think, oh, actually. Yes, knocked better. on, knocked on. Yes, yeah, good to see uh, Tongi getting involved late. Yeah. And uh, sadly, knocked on. They're defusing or butchering a try. Yes. Yeah. And uh, They just they just lack a little composure, don't they, at times? They do. Well, they get excited. Kids are enjoying themselves, actually. I they, mean, they're, they're just loving their rugby league, aren't they? They are. They love they're their rugby like league. like wearing a poncho sitting in the cold. And the rain. Look at the <laughs> back of Watmo's head. <laughs> Nothing like that. What a great <laughs> afternoon. It's a fantastic. Saw something really stupid today, Mum and Dad. What? What Mo's head. There it is. <laughs> now, what have we got? A scrum here with a feed. We haven't got enough players to form the scrum by the looks. No. We kind of what, the draws have decided couple... not to turn up for the scrum, HG? Yeah, a couple of people have jumped the fence to get involved uh, in the scrum because <laughs> they, they could see the obvious problem and they read it very well. And they think, uh, congratulations to them. They'll be uh, yeah. signed up. As full uh, professional players in the Kamal Road Wheelie team once they get home. Okay, now we've got uh, oh, 65 35. There's a the tail, Roy, yeah. in terms of possession. possession yes. Away it goes on the far side there. Looked like Leroy Lars with the ball. Very good play. Well, they've worked out a way of tackling Leroy Lars, haven't they? Well, they've got Two up toy. the top, four down the bottom. <laughs> and here's a break now. It's gone through. Gallant's been playing very well. He Two very strong on that side there. Yeah. Both, uh, they've uh, been a handful out there for the Kummels. Yeah, the Kummels are really backing off now. They're, they're starting to want something for fitness, HG. Yes, well, that's the thing. I, yeah. I think playing at lower altitudes is bugging them completely. Yeah. They're okay. The high. There's a kick over the pop. Chick him, Oh, and well it, done, oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Mm. Yeah, wow. 
well. Still, they diffused what potentially could have been a difficult circumstance for them. So it's going to be another you drop know, kick. What Takiri's shown today? Do you think Sheens does play favourites, puts in Takiri instead of uh, Darius Boyd? Because yeah. I reckon Darius Boyd would have got several tries here. Yes, he probably and would Takiri, have. And Takiri, from my notes, I haven't got all the notes. Yes. But I don't think he's got one. Oh, he's got one. Well, Takiri has butchered a couple of tries. Oh, he's butchered several. He's been yeah. in a, and for a winger, he's been in the wrong position he a has, couple of times. He comes drifting yeah. into the centres a bit too much, yeah. I like Especially when Morris, if yeah. that's the uh, person on his side... Yeah, Slippery's boy. Uh, ...throws the ball out there, and he's not there to snare it. Yeah. And we're underway again with... Here's uh, Luke Lewis, Lewis bringing the ball Lewis, up. Lewis, uh, easy yards easy there, yard. jinking run. Knocked over on the uh, Triple M sign. Look at this walking off the mark. I hate that. <laughs> hear that. Oh, I know, they've got something here. It'll be an offside. Now, if they, if they ping the, the mm. Kummels for offside, then that's appalling, because he moved four or five metres off the mark on his knees. Now, we've got it. They're inside with about 20 metres to go to the line. And Cam Smith plays the ball back to Cronk. Cronk brings it over to Lockyer. Lockyer moves it back to Slater. Slater looking for a way through. He's found somebody. Oh, oh surrender, surrender tackle. tackle. Send him off. Penalty. You know, they'll never penalise that because it's a New Zealand referee. What do we expect? Yeah, now where's Tagiri now? tagiri has got the... Oh, I think he's Maybe got no down. Need. No, no, no. No, he's not there. Too Brilliant short. Brilliant defence. Oh, oh no. no. What's the point of going to... The... Oh, bloody hell. If this is a trial screen. Well, he seemed to get it down and then pull it back. He did pull it back. Let's, now, have let's a look. see if he does get it down over the line. No, he drops it. He's dropped it. He's before the line, before too. Before the line. It's a knock on. Oh, Scrum, no, please. Got... 10 metre. Oh, gee, oh. there's a nice swinging arm there. <laughs> Who was that, AC? Was that our mate Tongia? I think it might be. Here he comes in. It might be the oh, third. Oh, no. Eight. It the might, 13, is it? might be the, th- the 12. 12, yeah. Oh, well, that's Loco. That's Loco. Loco David by Loco. name, Loco by nature. Have uh, a look at this. This is kids. Well, get look involved at this, kids. This, this is how you do it. it. Hey, See you here. What's what's go? Well, that's... Uh, Head hunting. That's, that's your cool style. Yeah. And I, I would be surprised if Tonga knows where he is. Or Tonga knows where he is. Uh, well, let's, let's hope uh, it's let's not a try. Anyway, let's hope justice is done. Yeah, yes! no try. Yes, yes you beauty. Scores 38 nil still. Good, and, uh, and uh, no penalty to the to uh, Australia for that Kummel indiscretion? No, no good. Not, well, why would oh, there oh, be? Oh, look at that. That's fantastic. There, that, that's what yeah. rugby league's all about. While the intent was there, HG, the technique wasn't quite right because he missed it. Yeah. He did. He did. Well, he yeah. shouldn't have got up. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of those uh, yeah. you know, close ones like that, they don't get up. Yeah. You know, if the force is applied correctly, yes. they're, they're, they're out for the count. Mm. Uh, now, here's a... Uh, OK, this good Kummel feed. Here we go. Kummels! Come on, now. They've got a long way to go. They've got 80 minutes and they've got seven minutes to get there. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so far, nobody... They They're still full of running, though, aren't they, they in, are, this, in, the, in attack? And the thing is, I've, if I've only got a criticism, a slight criticism of it, they haven't spread it wide enough. No, they haven't. They, no, haven't. they haven't. And look at this interference by Lewis here in the play the ball. I mean, it's just appalling See, what they're, they're getting away with, these kangaroos. <laughs> Their natural thing is to want to run inside. Which yeah, is the wrong way, really. Mm. Well, the play the play the ball is being held up all the time, HG. So they're forced to go inside. There's the kick, the kick uh, down uh, right down to Slater. Slater's got the ball. He's running back. He's got up another halfway. Ah, oh, magnificent defence. Ah, oh, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh. And guess who's involved again? Loco. Loco, yes. Didn't have good. room to swing the arm. No, a lot he gets the ball. for room for arm room, swinging room. <laughs> uh, Takiri has not scored today. HG's Sorry. the only back not to have scored a try. Oh, I th- Thanks, Dan, on the sideline there. Yes. I missed that. I thought he might have got one. Yeah. Oh, oh, beautiful tackle there. Oh, now where's their follow-up? Their follow-up, getting Giddley. Gee, they hate Giddley, don't they? They do hate Giddley. Uh, that was great work from yeah. the number four, Yiri. That was Yiri, Menzi Yiri. Oh, he slipped over the wrong about. time. Thide, haven't they? He's Thide quiet. quiet. He's been whisper quiet, hasn't he, Thide? Yeah, he's, he's out there all the no, time. No, he hasn't. He comes, he, 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 he's a ghost, really. Yeah, right. He uh, turned up to get the check and then left. Yeah, Leroy uh, Lars. I mean... He leaves his legs alone. Oh, that's it. that's better. That's it. You've got to yeah. get him around the legs, that big bloke. So they've got uh, 15 metres or thereabouts, maybe 14 metres to go yeah. for another try, Australia. On to uh, Darren Lockyer. Darren, up over the top there. Deep fuse. Oh, beautiful. beautifully now, done. Come on, Cobbles. It's a just beautifully to... diffused, Cobbles. Perfect. Um, here it comes now. See, running on inside. Yeah, I mean, the middle of the... And look at this holding again. down in the play the ball. That's what the, um, the referee is ignoring. Of course it is. I just hope Rui Master... Oh. Well, hang on. Did he kick he, the he ball knocked, there? Actually? Well, he might have kicked it. Oh, it's, 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 it's the ball he tooled it ahead or something. Is he wearing he, a gourd? He's, he's got a... You know, obviously, it was expanded. Yes. Uh, inside the gourd. 
so it just bounced off it. Yeah, right. Uh, now the Australians got a chance here to go forward, but they don't seem to... It's a bit one out from the Australians here. I hope uh, Sheens isn't expecting them. Oh, no, they get the ball away to Cam Smith. Cam Smith, oh, now they've got trouble here. Out it goes to Crockett. Oh, oh, too easy, too easy, yes, Tom. Too easy, too oh, easy. No, no, no Takiri wasn't there. I don't know where Takiri was, HG. Looks as if he changed his postal address there for a little while. So Tonga, in the 76th minute, as the game is grinding to a halt, takes the score to 42 Nil, Roy. Mm. Uh, you know, obviously. Oh well, just late in the match. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think the the Kumuls have been exhausted trying to get up to play the ball. That's what's worn them out. I, they're not used to that style. Normally they. No, because normally there's someone out there with a whistle who, who stops an opponent doing that, doing that right, to you. That's true. I mean, that's you, true. You, Did, you turn to you turn every play the ball into a Greco-Roman wrestle, and then it's going to affect you. Correct. And I, with It'll rugby league, out, with rugby league I want the same rules to apply to one side as the other. Mm-hmm. And at the moment, the rules are only applying to the Kumbles. They're not applying to the Australians at all. No, no. Now, look, tomorrow when you read the match reports of this match, what are you expecting to see? You know, obviously... Kumbles robbed. Yeah. Is that your headline? Yes, that's my headline. Kumbles robbed, cheating, massive investigation. Uh, world, whatever this event is called, Four Nations, called off... Until because of because of statutory abuses by officialdom and Arbib involved. As we I, well, Arbib would have to get involved now. Cam Smith uh, to convert this to take the score to forty four nil. Mm. He's had a mixed day with the boot. Yes, uh, nothing wrong with the tee. He He's been all right from this side. Yes, I oh, know this is the he, side he can't do. He, he hit the top yeah, of the goalpost before. Did. There's he another did. kick. He's going for no, the top again. No, no, sadly no, missed. Was... So the score remains forty two nil. This is Bone Through Nose, Gord on Slide, and an axe at the back door. It's Kummel Rugby League on Triple M. And so we're back into the dying last few minutes of this match. Yeah. Uh, we hope to be able to squeeze these in between now and the top of the hour. Uh, look, uh, we should be able to do that okay because we're up to 77 and we only have to bar two and, uh, mm. well, two and... Yeah, it's going to be a close run thing, isn't it, to, 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 uh, to field our commitments at two minutes to six, but uh, that's Eastern Standard summertime. Uh, we're underway, though, and uh, it's a kick-off. I, I think the Australian people actually would have fallen in love, though, with these crazy dinner guys. Well, <laughs> you, you know, know, you'd have to, wouldn't you? You would. OK, let's go through the positives as we watch the match wind down. Yeah. Brilliant, uh, you know, use of the swinging arm. Yes. Brilliant, uh, and sadly, oh, 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 hang on, what's no, going on right, here? What's right, that right. about? What's that about? A he's, penalty for what? Being a kummel? Yeah, no, pull it, pulling him by the ear. Stanley Jelly. Pulling him by the ear, there was no ear involved. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's the Lord. kick anyway. So I mean, they found touch. You're asking the Kummels to betray their instinct. If they see it here, they're going to tug it. Well, or we'll bite it. Or we'll bite it, yes. Yeah, and trying to get more points here. Quick play the balls. All the quick play the balls have come from the Australians. Yes. And this is the uh, the big boy going up there now. I think it must be Leroy, Leroy Lars. Lars. He's played very well. well he's, been a, he's been a difficult customer, hasn't he? Oh, oh, no, oh, 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 oh that's fantastic. Oh, on, this is good. That's Aiton oh, there. Good. Aiton, it's terrific. It's exploded. It yeah, won't surprise oh, me to okay. see somebody, somebody come in with an axe here yes. or a big stone. Yes. They've got them on the sidelines. They're just near us. We've been looking after them all afternoon. If oh. they want them, they're quite here to come and get them. Right. And uh, so now he's, he's got a difficult task here. Oh, he'll just get big blue or lights play the ball, won't he? And let's forget about it and I, move on. I think you're absolutely we'll penalise right. penalise the Kummels for being Kummels again. I mean, he's been doing that all bloody day. And so but I tell you what, the people of back home would be loving it if a stink happened. Well, they've got uh, a minute yeah. to stack it on yeah. because they'll only have another six minutes or so to see it out. That yeah. would be... I think the crowd are wanting more. They will be wanting more, but They're I tell you what, a lot of these couples will be thinking, all right, this is game one. We might meet these blokes in the final. Well, <laughs> 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 yeah, these uh, obviously uh, two other nations involved, New Zealand and England. Yeah, well, England and, you can forget about. Yes, yes, true. There you true. Go. And here's uh, Petro Petro's lumbering back up. On, yeah. Yes, he's uh, knocked over there, took three of them to put him down. And uh, now it's about 12 metres to go. They're into the last minute here. I think we're going to make our commitments okay, Roy. Yes, our I think international so. commitment. Oh, oh he yes. There. Oh, he was. Oh, gee. I, that was I odd. He to go he on with like, I... I've never seen him do that no. before. No. And, of course, he's got the try-scoring record. Yes. Uh, and he plays to Cam Smith now. Cam Smith had to do it pick-and-go style. Oh, oh no. Come on, come, come on. Come on. Cummels have got what they the could best spread the ball quickly there, AC. Look at this holding down. Look at this. this They've big only got 20 seconds to go. Come on. Keep it going, Cummels. You've got 20 seconds. 15 seconds. Mm. Oh, no. It's going to snuff Who's out. Who's going to put their hand up here and say, let's go, Cummels? 
Here we go. Sadly, that's knocked it over. No. There's only about eight seconds to go. Yeah, but see interference, constant interference in the play of the ball. It is uh, over now, and there's a final uh, what we call knock on. Oh, it's a bit of a, a how to oh, do. Hello. Yeah, the to get involved. Be... Oh, yes, hello. that's better. Hello. But the crowd sensing Leroy something. Lars, you're making a big mistake there, boy. So it's uh, 42 nil uh, full time. Uh, let's see, in the second half, Smith on the 55th minute mark, Lockyer on the 63rd minute mark, Cam Smith kicked five from eight for the afternoon, full time 42 nil. Roy, some thoughts? Uh, great game of rugby league, great exhibition of international rugby league, full marks to the Kummels for turning up, but the refereeing is going to have to be given close scrutiny and examination. So there it is, league lovers, this leg of your Four Nations crack box and berry. The tune 42 nil. Congratulations, Skipper Darian Lockyer. Congratulations, Coach Sheens. Congratulations, Kangaroos. I'm on behalf of our sponsors and UNICEF, we hope you've enjoyed this coverage of the Four Nation Clash. Enjoy the rest of the series. Who knows when we'll see Reggae League like this again. As we sign up from Parramatta Stadium, we remind you that Triple M is league. Bye now. Papua New Guinea Rugby League, here in the shop front of the world on Triple M.